Welcome everyone, I am the Mike Robles and this is Squad Says Serve. A cooking competition where you, the squads, will get to control everything. You will vote on resources for your chefs, force ingredients the other chefs must use, scoring categories, and sabotages to inflict on the opposing chef. Let's meet today's chefs, Kels and Sarah. Come on over. Well, you guys are way too far out. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you guys go ahead and come into your sections here. And let's go ahead and introduce uh, the folks at home and tell the folks at home uh, who you are, where they can find you. We'll start over here to my right with Chef Sarah. Chef Sarah, right over there. Hey there. I am Sarah Klein. You can find me at inlieuofcordonbleu.com or inlieuofcordonbleu on Instagram or Facebook or uh, at Kesara Sarah on Twitter. And you're back. This is your second I time on the show. I am. I'm here for redemption, baby. You're, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. That's, well, here's the, here's the cool thing, and uh, I'm sure everyone joining us will notice right now, there's no longer Squad Ted, Squad Mike. So while Purple Squad is still down by two, you're coming back. You're going to try to win. And let's go ahead and let's meet your opponent, the person who had to stop you from one day. Oh, you're so fierce. <laughs> Chef Kells. Chef Kells right over there. Say the folks at home. Welcome back again. Tell the folks at home who you are. Yeah, uh, I'm Kels. Um, I own a game company called Cat Bean Games, and we're making our first game, Calico, which is magical girls running cat cafes, and we're really excited. <laughs> I never get tired of hearing you talk about your game. You get so you light up when you talk about the game, and it's awesome. I'm really excited. We we've been doing some cool stuff. I, shrinking, you, shrinking ladies having walk on cakes. <laughs> walk on cakes? That's that's new. The last time we talked to you, you were super excited because you just added red pandas in the game. Oh yeah. So yeah. now now they're cake <laughs> cake walking. Yeah, and, and more animals. And more animals. animals. Great. All right. All right. With that, okay, let's talk about the rules for Squad Said Served. Our chefs are going to have 20 minutes each round to deliver a dish to our judges that features the, uh, that features the feature ingredient for that round. There's going to be five rounds today. That's right. Five. So there's going to be five dishes cooked by each squad chefs. Chefs will uh, alternate voting rounds throughout the show. You can check the border around the vote options. When it's your squad's color, it's your turn to vote. Uh, you vote clicking right on the screen to select your preferred option, and uh, you will have to join a squad first. Make sure you log into Twitch, click the button in the middle of the screen to get started. Since we have new squads this time, the new name, we have new names, new squads. There's no more squad Ted versus squad Mike. All the squad memberships have been reset, so if you played with us before, you get to choose a brand new squad between the Purple Pirates or the Green Ninjas. Think about that right there. I'll give you guys a little bit of time to go ahead and select a squad. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 is that your pirate dance? dance? Yeah, right. You do a pirate dance? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Let's see your, what's your best ninja. That's, I, that's, that's, the, that's the, the ninja. That's a pirate I go. think that's a message. That's the message <laughs> right there. <laughs> that's, this, we're already losing control. Yeah. Most of the votes are going to award a resource to your team chef. Resources include things like heatware, uh, heat sources, cookware, bowls, utensils, and of course, ingredients. Your chef can choose to use these resources or not in any of their dishes. Let's go ahead and get that first vote started for the Pirate Squad. The first vote is going to be just for items, but soon most voting rounds are going to include one special option within each choice. Each dish will have the opportunity to uh, vote on an ingredient to force on the other squad chef, uh, when they must use that ingredient in the next dish they're about to serve. You'll also be able to sabotage the opposing chef once per dish. And sabotages might include things like uh, stealing resources, distracting the other squad chef, or restricting uses of their resources for a period of time. Finally, for each dish, each team will have an additional scoring category that will apply to both teams for the next dish to be served. In addition to the scoring categories voted on by each squad, each dish will also be judged on taste. Each of the two judges will rate each dish on a three scoring categories from a scale from 1 to 10. 30 points per dish per judge, 60 points per dish total, 300 points across all five dishes. Wow, that seems like such a huge number, but I forgot we're doing so much more dishes. I thought the teleprompter was incorrect. 300 points on the line. Some of the scoring categories are going to be a bit vague. We're going to leave that up to the interpretation of our judges, who we will meet in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put 20 minutes on the clock for our first feature ingredient, prawns. Mm -hmm. Chefs, are you ready? Ready. Yep. Yeah. He's <laughs> so excited. Yar. All right. Yars. <laughs> What's, uh, squad says cook. I'm going to go ahead and start over here. You have nothing going on here. Right. But we'll tell the folks at home right now, as a reminder, you have to be on a PC uh, or a, or Mac to be able to vote. Voting does not quite work yet on mobile or tablets. Uh, and don't forget, if you need to see the results of the previous rounds, you can check the voting history in the panel just below your browser right there, just below the video player. Uh, yeah, I guess really, normally you guys get to start out with something. No, this time you don't. So we'll go ahead and just make sure that you get your, your stuff on. And you're already going and starting to get some of the prawns out on the paper towel there. 
That's right, they, they've been defrosting. Yeah, they're, so they're semi-defrosted. Semi-defrosted. <laughs> no, it's great. We got some really nice, uh, some, some nice prawn water. Yeah. We were discussing clam juice and how clam juice is made. Maybe there's prawn juice out there now. Yeah, well, I guess I just lost that, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the resources seem scarce this time, so maybe I shouldn't have poured that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry, there's going to be a vote coming very soon, and you're going to be plenty of resources. Uh, I'll turn it over to Chef Kells here in just a second. Chef Kells is also just getting these prawns out of their prawn bath. I guess it's the, um, let's uh, have a great show today. Oh, no, those are old. These are old ones right there. Uh, I'm seeing old. I think there's old. It's a great show today, gang. I'm pretty sure that's from uh, Logan from a previous, previous thing there. Well, it's fine. We're brand new show. We figured, you know what? It's the end of the year. Let's change everything up. Let's try everything all at once. What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> right? Right? Good. Every, everything. Yeah, we have produc good. Production Sarah says everything can go wrong. So that's fine. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to have plenty of time, though, to sit there and get these first votes out. Uh, what are you hoping for in these first votes? You clearly have no idea what's coming out. Yeah. What, what would you I, like? I, what I would really like, I'd like some sort of, uh, like, maybe a vermouth or some sort of a liquor. I'd love some cream or um, something creamy. Maybe some shallot, garlic, a little tomato. Um, and then maybe some sort of a starch, like a like a bread or a pasta, something like that, and right. some salt. It's some, just some, some salt, salt this time. That's yeah. right. It's something you may remember. Sarah was on our last show, Shit Show Saturday, where uh, there was no salt, no oil. There was it was it was yeah, craziness. Like heat maybe half the time. Heat, right? yeah, yeah, heat maybe half the time. Uh, <laughs> what can go wrong? Yeah. Uh, the Shitan, of course, says famous last words. That's right. Welcome back to Shitan. Uh, so I'm so glad that you came to do the show once. Kels has done the show multiple times. So I'm, I, I joke because Kels has seen this change. You came and did the show once, and you yeah. came back, and everything's totally different now. It's a true statement. And how yeah. are you prepared for this? <laughs> I think the short answer is not at all. Not at all. Not at all, yeah. All right. Uh, I think we have our first vote option ready to go there. Is that more than one? Uh-oh. More, more than one. Yep. Uh, so are you ready to come in? Oh, all right. Ooh. Here we go with our first one. Choo-choo, motherfucker. Choo-choo. <laughs> So they're gonna move over here, right over here. All right, let's welcome Ted. Ted's back, everyone. Yeah, I'm still here. He's still here. Can't get rid of me. All right, Ted, why don't you go ahead and tell Chef Sarah what okay. you got going on over there? So, Chef Sarah, these were the three things that they were voting on for you. Okay. You have here olive oil and sweet relish. You had here polenta and uh, what looks like marijuana. Um, but it's, it's not. It's exactly. dried basil. That's dried basil. Mm -hmm. Then you have some cornstarch here, milk, and a skillet. So. This, uh, which one out of all of these things, if you could get one of them, what would you prefer? Yeah, I think I would like the cornstarch, milk, and a skillet. Cornstarch, milk, and a skillet. Well, it looks like the Green Squad has voted for this one here, the polenta and the dried basil. <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah, I feel so, like reverse psychology is No, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, no. what, no, we're getting production saying that. That oh, it was milk right. skillet and baking soda Excellent. is what it was. So lucky you. Okay, it's baking soda though. It is baking soda. soda. Same thing. Wait, so what you can use them the exact same you thing. You actually are about to find out I'll right be now. back with ingredients for you in a second. It turns out, turns out we're a vote behind. Whoop. Means that there's already, your vote has already happened. Which means Ted's gonna go and quickly swap Ted. everything out, mm -hmm. come out, and come out. Oh, it's not Ted's fault. That's okay, I'm slowly realizing that prawns are really gross when they're raw. <laughs> I eat a lot of them. Great. <laughs> All right, well, that's good to I know. I eat a lot of them usually, and I love them, and I might love them less after this. You might love them less after this. That's perfect. Um, all right, so you saw what Chef Sarah got over there. Are you hoping to get something similar? I would like definitely oil, because I always need oil, or like a butter or something, and then like some sort of sauce or a taste. Ooh, to yeah. add to, because prawns don't taste like much. They don't. They, you know, they're very, they're, they're very light. They're very, they do have that like that fish taste. And the nice thing about prawns is they don't take that long to cook. So even if you guys do get uh, a heat source later, it'll be quick. You know, quick. Right now, check that out. You don't even have a heat source yet, though. Oh, jeez, it's a team. I'm trying. Come on. <laughs> You're keeping me honest, though. I guess. I'm, I am keeping you honest. Yeah. I'm okay. Trying. It's good. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, look at that. That's good to know. Turns out you guys actually did have some story items. So while Ted rolls out these ingredients, I'll go find those uh, those items for you guys. I'll be right back. All right. Choo choo. Ted's back, everybody. All right. This is the favorite segment of the show. I can already tell. <laughs> so, uh, Kells. Yes. Now, out of all of these, I know I can tell with the expression on your face 
that you definitely want this giant pot here, don't you? I mean, is that I what you want? Not like the. No, 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 no. That's what you want, right? <laughs> Please, hurry, hurry, hurry. No, that's not. So what? Okay, so you've got here. You actually have uh, some canned corn. Okay. As option number three, along with the dried arbol chilies. I oh. mean, that seems Oops. pretty good. That falling out there. And then you've got uh, silicon tongs. You've got some <laughs> lemon juice. Very helpful, especially with the shrimp. No, you could absolutely do that. And you've got some orzo. But then beyond that, you've got the metal pot, you've got the sea salt, and you've got uh, the banana peppers. I think the least of what I would know what to do with is orzo. Okay, so good for you, because you got orzo and <laughs> you got the silicon tongs. Yeah, I knew you were trying to get me. Yeah, no, that's my. That's going to be the bit. For the for the rest of the show, we'll just call it a bit. So enjoy those. Well, I'm a little jealous of the orzo over there. The Why? Yeah. Well, because it's, it's kind of like useful. Right? It's a, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a base. It's a starch. Like that seems helpful, right? That now. makes sense. Well, good luck. I'll be back here in a couple minutes with some more ingredients for y'all. All right. Oh, did I get a griddle? Oh. What? All right. So here's what's happening right now. I went and spoke to the judges, and the judges have decided that Kells. Chef Kells over there on the uh, Ninja Squad. You're going to start out with the panini press, and Chef Sarah, you're going to start out with the super pot. I'm going to go and plug those guys in for you. Uh, you both get paring knives. However, we cannot find the extra paring knives, so we'll find those. We'll get you guys some knives in just a second here. All right, so you got uh, you get some orzo and some lemon juice, it looks like. Is that what you got? Yes, I yes. got orzo and lemon juice. <laughs> All right. The lemon juice, I think actually I can, I can make it work. I think it'll work. You can make it work. All right, but that's good to go. Oh, and you're pouring that milk straight into the super pot there. Do you have a plan? Do you have the cornstarch? No, not cornstarch. I've got baking soda. <laughs> it's really not the same thing oh, at all. Oh, it's baking soda. Okay, so not cornstarch. Baking yeah. soda. All right. Yeah. Well, cornstarch would have been more helpful. They would have been. Yeah. But you're all right. You're already starting the milk in the mm -hmm. super pot. That thing gets really hot, by the way. You can already uh, see the good. steam. That's good to just, know. Just, I don't want you to burn the milk. Can we control the temperature? You can. There's a little knob right over there for that. Uh, oh, you got the super pot. Yeah. <laughs> Are you <laughs> jealous? You got. You got the panini press. You got the star of the show. The first emote. I love the panini press, but. But these prawns. <laughs> they might love the panini press. All right, judging these two, these five dishes today, we've got two returning judges. One of them has been a, both a chef and a judge. So let's go ahead and let's introduce our judges for today. Uh, starting off to my left, both looking very festive, I might add. Uh, so on uh, my far left there, Judge Katie, say hello to the folks at home and tell the folks at home where they can find. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I am a streamer. I play video games. I also brew and bartend, and I dress up as Princess Anna for a living. You can find me on Twitch at kdowling6, and then on Twitter at kdowling6twitch, and then my lovely co-judge. Thank you, Katie. My name is Angelina. I work for a game studio called Exoto Games. We're making an exciting new narrative game about what it's like to go pro in today's esports industry. It's called Elo How, and we're in early access on Steam. If you could do me a favor and wish list it on Steam, I would appreciate it. Do it. All right, and judges, uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about these first dish. Talk about prawns. Uh, you guys, you guys have prawns. I know we joked uh, about. <laughs> You know, the deveining of the prawns and stuff. But you can see right now, uh, there's going to be a ton of ingredients showing up uh, very soon. What is your preferred method for prawns? How do you enjoy to eat prawns? Do you, do you often enjoy prawns? I didn't know that they weren't pink to start with, so this is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. <laughs> uh, again, I do not cook. Uh, I should really work on cooking. Uh, but, you know, my favorite way to receive prawns is at the, you know, like the crab pot, when they just dump it on oh, the table yeah. Yeah, and you yeah, just yeah. eat with your bare hands, like with, uh, what is that, what is that uh, spice that they use? Is paprika, it? it's usually paprika. Paprika. Yeah. Oh, oh, welcome back, Ted. Oh, bay. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi. Just lather it. We got Ted back. Hang on It was second. on the judges. I was waiting for you to actually make, like, a clean, a good, like, Oh, and Ted's back over here. No, I was um, really enjoying. I got uh, from production team. Apparently, we're very behind on Great. votes already. <laughs> I, um, I don't right. know when they started the voting, but as you can see, your squad here. Oh, and you're not on. We're not on squads no, anymore. No, purple oh, squad. Know, purple squad here voted for bacon bits, dried dill, and you also got a griddle that you Great. can use there. This is the grease trap there. I uh, don't good. spill that because I spilled it on my leather shoes earlier. So people <laughs> people yeah. have a tendency to grab it from here and it falls out. So let's let's That's move good. this over to the other side there while Ted gets the ingredients for uh, right. for the Ninja Squad. Yeah, good. and we'll plug this sucker in too. Cause sure, why not? Uh, and then let's cut back to sh uh, to Judge uh, Angelina and Judge Angelina. Let's talk about your prawn experience and your prawn preferred methods. So um, I would say if you're having prawns that are 
freshly pulled from the Mediterranean. Mm. All you need is the, the prawn itself. No, wait, have you had prawns pulled fresh from the Mediterranean? No, I have never been. <laughs> what? <laughs> the way you made it sound, you were like, I just reach in the ocean, grab one, and just eat it right then and there. It's her dream method. Let her dream. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, Judge Katie, I do want to let you know that when you do get the prawns at the crab pot, those are not deveined. What? what? Yeah. So if you've just been popping them in, <laughs> you might be making a mistake. Well, I guess I've been eating them wrong my whole life. I'm not changing now. I'm not changing now. <laughs> You're not changing now. No, right. I'm on this course. i got to stay in my lane. Great. All right. Uh, well, just chefs let you know you have about 10 minutes left before you need to finish. There's plenty of time. Prawns don't cook that long. Don't take that long to cook. And uh, our, our trolley Ted, our Ted boy, our ingredient boy over there is getting you guys as much stuff as possible right now to try to catch up with what's happened. And he's back. Boy has returned. Boy has Boy. All right, and Let's scooch over here so you can talk to and see what the Ted's brought you. So the original plan was we were going to come out with multiple ingredients, but now we're just giving you the ingredients as of the, uh, as of the moment, just okay, because okay. we're falling behind okay. here. So Ooh, here's okay. yours. Now you have a sweet potato, you got okay. the pan, and you also have cherry pie filling, which is a forced ingredient. Oh, and then for oh, you, okay. you have the rectangular dish. Okay. You have the uh, you have this, which is the forced ingredient. That's sesame snacks. That's okay. or seaweed snacks. I'm sorry. And then your spice there, which is going to be dried thyme. Yeah. So enjoy that. I'll be back in another minute and a half with some more ingredients. Great. Uh, yeah, you got to use a knife to open that up. We, no, we have a, I will get you a can opener right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ted, for brought, bringing by those ingredients. All right, judges, forced ingredients, cherry pie filling, and seaweed snacks. Straight up, it looked like dog food when you brought it over because my dog eats out of the can like that. And so I got a little bit scared, especially after last episode that I was on where we had the, what was it? You made a uh, nice sauce out of uh, car caramel uh, salt. Salted caramel ice cream. Oh, oh, the salt right. caramel ice cream. So I'm just like, oh, right. great. We're going to go up from here. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, no. Yeah. So cherry pie filling. Uh, Chef Kells, let's talk to you. This is kind of a curveball here. How do you expect to feature cherry pie sauce? I mean, it's basically just cherries and sugar, so I, I, it shouldn't be too bad. But but also, interesting. That's, yeah, um, it's really I, thick. I, I don't have a heat source, right? You have the and panini press. You stop ignoring the panini press. Well, I mean, I <laughs> what did it do to you? What did it do to you? <laughs> uh, no, correct. You do not have fire. Yeah, this is the proper. I believe that's what you're asking for. Do you have fire? No, that is really thick sauce. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. Great. All right. I'm going to check in over here with, uh, with Chef Sarah. Chef Sarah, bacon gets thyme, uh, milk. <laughs> it, it's all delicious with prawns, I'm sure. Yep. I mean, we got a creamy, creamy dill sauce going here. So, like, I mean, that's not bad, right? It's got some uh -oh. bacon. <laughs> I'm figuring uh, seaweed snacks, that's basically like a salty note. So, yeah. yeah. All right. You can work with that. Are you going to try to break them down, maybe? Because you can probably place them in the cream. Yeah, I thought about that, but I don't know. Somehow, like, thyme and, and seaweed yeah. sounds gross, basically. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a, oh, all right. And I see Chef Kells is putting the lemon juice in that panini press with that cherry filling sauce. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you at all. I'm just informing You're the folks at home. I'm not a judge. Informing the folks, informing the folks at home about what's happening. And whoa, it looks like whoa. I knew. I told you to do it at least once. Here comes Ted. What happened to the wheels? What happened to the wheel? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's production Kevin's shoddy job on those wheels. <laughs> Ted, Actually, he did a great what job. What do you have going on here? Well, so we have three sabotages that Green Squad has now voted upon and inflicted upon the purple squad chef here on the pirate squad chef now one of these three they had the so or they had solid theft which i don't know what that means they uh, had they still want ingredient ah they had lobster eyes and then they also had one armed bandit great so which meant we would have chopped their arm off and then we've also got the salt here got a couple other things but here's the thing that they voted on green squad voted on solid theft as the sabotage and uh, green squad you get to sabotage them with that and there's the table salt, so enjoy that salt, salt there. And I'll roll these away and get back here in a second. Oh, the salt. Okay, so the salt goes to the green squad. What am I doing? You get you get okay. salt. Uh, oh, I get salt. Chef Sarah's quickly stolen stuff. <laughs> that was fast, by the way. You're like, ha ha. Uh, and you also get to steal one ingredient from uh, from the from the purple squad. <laughs> it has to be a solid though, so it's got to be what are they basically any right here. Uh, baking soda, thyme, dill, bacon bits. Thyme, basil or thyme? Thyme. Thyme, and dill, and there's no dill. basil, so dill thyme. and thyme. I'll do take, thyme. Take it, all right, she has stolen the thyme. Nice job. Uh, I love that you, how quickly you grabbed that sauce. <laughs>
Yeah, I've learned. You've got to move. You've got to be moved because you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> sure. Just as we, all right, we want to thank everyone, first of all, for joining us today. Uh, again, we are we are taking, we are taking, we took kind of a small hiatus. We're going to do another show this coming Tuesday night, the 18th, uh, at 7 p.m. on the same channel. Uh, and then we'll kind of come back in 2019 where this will be served, will be a weekly show. Uh, so make sure you guys stick around because we are going to want to hear your thoughts. Join us on Discord. Um, with those thoughts as well uh, of this new format. You gotta bear with us as we go through these changes as, as a lot's happening. Uh, uh oh, Ted's coming back. Ted's coming back. Here we go. We've got a brand new set. Whoa, here comes Ted. We're gonna have to come up with something different every single time. All right, here we go. So we have more sabotages that the Purple Squad is inflicting on the Green Chef here. Okay. All right, so you had a or they had available to them hip to be square. What is that one, Mike? That, that is the, you have to stand in the square for five minutes. They had double trouble, and they also had a haiku. Ooh. Now, with each of these also comes uh, fresh mint, some butter, or that's margarine, I'm sorry, glass, a uh, little measuring dish, as well as olive oil, and, oh, I'm sorry, avocado oil, and some uh, lager. Great. So they've actually voted for number two, which was double trouble. Great, so that means Purple Squad gets the measuring dish. That is And right. the margarine. Uh, are. Enjoy here. that. I'm about to double check here and check. Who do you want to uh, give this one to? Uh, there, you can go over here. Yeah, and I'll figure it out. I got it. I got it. In the, it was. It was placed in Discord. What are you looking for? What I do you need? A dish. You got a dish. I got two dishes. You need. To, oh, you want a dish. You want to plate. What kind of dishes do you want? Um, I guess the little bowls. The little bowls. There you go. Uh, while that's happening here, let's go and quickly grab. We have so many sabotages here. There's so many sabotages. Let me go ahead and grab. If, if you're in our Discord, you actually got a sneak peek of what they were. So let's find out here. Let me get them. Maybe it's in our mod chat there. There it is. Double trouble. Where did it go? We lost it. Oh, great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab you uh, three more bowls. Huh? Double trouble is you're gonna have to make six portions. <laughs> and uh, Sarah's gonna pick three of them to take over. Okay. But she's gonna pick the three, so there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Brooks and Steve. We lost the sheet that had all the things listed out because there's so many. We have so many <laughs> items now. Uh, there's more coming. All right. What do we got? Welcome back, Ted. It's so like, often. It's like, it's like you never left. No, it's like I never left. Wow, Mike, I'm on screen more than you are now. <laughs> My God. Okay, so uh, for the purple squad, or I'm sorry, for the uh, green, squad. green squad here, the green squad had available to them they had these things. It was a scoring category of pairs, scoring category of tall, scoring category of creativity. Now, all of those things were going to go along with the uh, sea salt, which was the, uh, or I'm sorry, no, that's the, the pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt. Yep. All the salts are the same. They might as well all be the same. <laughs> now, you've also got honey and mayonnaise for that that's middle a one. Win a winning pair. No, absolutely. And then for that last one, you're also going to have gramasala, and you're going to have a medium bowl. It's a really small medium bowl, but we're it calling is. it a medium That's bowl. That's fine. And Green Squad actually voted for number three there. So the scoring category is going to be creativity. All right, so chefs and judges, first scoring category is creativity for this first dish. Uh, and then Chef Pels, you got uh, this bowl and some Grand Marcella. So not only do you have What's to be that? creative, you have Grand to be creative Marcella. six times. You're jumping it right. You're Stop judging me. I'm not. I'm just. I'm enjoying okay. the creativity here. Uh, and we're gonna in a second here after we get our second scoring category. We're gonna uh, turn it over to the judges and get their thoughts on this first dish here. Chefs, I want to remind you guys, you have about less than three minutes. Can I get some plates for? Sure. What would you like? I can um, get some, plates maybe like some little small bowls. Small bowls. How about like these bowls? Yeah, I think that'd be great. Perfect. There you go. All right, and Ted's back. <laughs> da -da -da. Welcome back, Ted. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> All right. Now, here was Purple Squad's vote Great. in the scoring categories. They had available to them, they had In Space with a George Foreman, they had Aroma with Fish Sauce and the uh, and uh, Quinoa, oh, okay. uh, also known as Quinoa, to correctly yeah. pronounce it. Yep, yep. And then the last one, you had Short as a scoring category, and the two things you had were Dried Sage and Steakhouse Seasoning. Ooh. Now, Purple Squad actually voted for scoring category number one. So that means that the Purple Chef gets a <laughs> George Foreman and the scoring category is In Space. Great. All right. So, chefs and judges, In Space is the scoring category. Uh, Chef Sarah, you get, get another plug-in right. uh, thing. Over here? Uh, I don't know where else we put that. I don't know where else we put that either, so we'll just set that here for now. Uh, I really like our new trap for that. So, um, do you want me to plug this in? 
Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, that's not going to be easy here. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to set that down for now. Just, just keep in mind that that's happening over there. All right. In space uh, and creativity. Let's turn over to the judges. You guys have a minute and a half left uh, to get these plates out there. Uh, judges, talk to me about these thoughts right now. In in space and creativity. I hope they have shrimp in space. I am just, I just want to make a little point right now uh, to the viewers. Uh, thank you. Uh, that is one of my favorite things that I've ever wanted to talk about on this show. Uh, I'm obsessed with space, especially cats in space. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So we're going to the moon for spring break. We are. <laughs> exactly. It's been planned for months now. Great. So we're gonna bring our kitties. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring shrimp. Mm -hmm. and have a barbecue. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's wonderful. All right. Uh, so, uh, Chef Sarah, while you're plating, uh, I want to remind you that before we, before we take these items over, you have to select three of Kel's dishes for us to present to the judges. All right. All right. Uh, you can do that now or you can do that when we're ready to plate. Uh, you, go, you know, finish plating and, yep. then, uh, and then go over there. You guys each have about 30 seconds left. Uh, Ted, are you coming back again? Yeah, no, no, no. So we'll soon? Okay. Green squad there. Uh, so for this one here for the ninjas, we'll just give it to them real quick. You have available to you, the middle one is what they chose, just so we don't distract her. She's got 20 seconds left. And you have use of the oven, and that one there is also going to be allspice. Allspice? Yes. So now you have the oven, that bowl, and allspice. Uh, the chiton oh, is, you have what? the oven now, so let's go ahead and get that preheated for you. Uh, the chiton, of course, saying this has to be the first ever episode with too many heat sources. <laughs> All right, all right, that is it. That is time right there. So go ahead and hands off the plates. All right, we're going to send these over. Chef Sarah, right. why don't you select uh, two dishes for me to take to the uh, to the judges? Yeah, I think I'm going to take this one. Okay. And uh, this one. All right, so those are those two. And then uh, which two of yours would you like me to send over? Uh, I think okay. I should do these two. Great. This is my out of atmosphere, by the way, because it's not, it's, you, when in, you go in space and there's no more atmosphere. This is out of the atmosphere, out of the clouds, shrimp in space. Shrimp in space, all right. Yeah. And Chef Kells, your dish is? There's uh, so much space. On there's the so much space on the plate. Uh, Great. Right. All right, I went over to the judges oh, right now. And yeah. judges, all right, first, yeah. here we go from the Purple Squad, the no, out of atmosphere uh, space. Mm -hmm. And then from Chef Kells. Uh, and the green ninjas. There's so much space in these plates. Uh, let's get your initial thoughts and impressions on these. Uh, wow, um, I oh, love this one because it kind of looks like uh, the shrimp was in space and then hit into oh, an perfect. asteroid. And this is like the murder scene. <laughs> the yeah. murder scene. I really great. like that. And then this one. This one just looks all kinds of uh, seafoody. Yeah, like SpongeBob would be proud. SpongeBob would be proud. All right, Chef Angelina, or Judge Angelina. She, you Chef, 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 Judge Angelina. They both look wonderful. I'm super excited. Great. All right, uh, we will come back and check in with you guys in just a minute here. Let's go talk to these uh, these chefs over here. Chefs, we need margarine. Chefs, why don't you guys talk to me about margarine. that first dish, the trials and tribulations? How did that? Uh, how did that go for you? How did, the, how did this go in the new format for you? Either one of you can start. I. It's not. I think. I think it's good. I think getting batches of ingredients is interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how the rest of the day goes. You're excited to see how the rest of the day goes. Great. All right. And Chef Sarah, how was how was this first round for you? Yeah, well, I'm excited to have heat sources. That feels new and, and so actually many. useful. So, so I'm grateful for that. And uh, yeah, it's interesting getting the, the ingredients in batches because then you never know. You could get something really, really helpful or you could you could lose stuff and you've got to sort of make, make your decisions and then like I had some dill in my my cream sauce here, and, and you know I'm not sure if that's what I would have done had I known I was going to get some time later on. But right, you yeah. got to make your choices and commit. So was there anything that you either one of you felt you really could have used more of, or really maybe one? I mean, you quickly you stole the uh, the time. Was that or was there a reason you specifically chose to steal the time over to the ingredients, like the bacon bits I and mean, shrimp and bacon is always a good plan. So. At the time, I hadn't had much flavors. Now I'm really excited because I have allspice and. Marsala. Grand Marsala, yep. Grand Marsala and thyme and lemon juice. I think I'm really good on flavors right now. Now I need, I have a lot of things that, that, like I have a pan but I don't have fire and I have an oven but I don't have a pan. Right, but you can place the pan Can I put this, because not all pans can go in the oven. Uh, you know what? That is something that we will find out together <laughs> later today. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that could be entertaining when we find that out. So, uh, say that again. Hang on, production was in my air. Say that again. That one. Just... Okay, that one should not go in the oven. That's, production that's says. What okay. I mean. Good to know. <laughs> We're good to know. All right. Uh, our judges looks like they have tasted both dishes.
Uh, looks like they are currently scoring right now. Uh, so we're going to wait for just a second for those scores to be turned in. And as soon as those scores are tuned in, uh, we will go and we will talk to the judges about those dishes. Uh, we do want to remind you guys that today, today's show specifically, uh, donations, bits, anything that happens, uh, I believe it's 20%. There's a percentage of today's show that is going to go to St. Jude and their Play Life charity. St. Jude Hospital is a uh, hospital that does research and helps uh, kid, uh, for children's cancer, which is, you know, a huge thing and really, you know, not... I mean, cancer sucks as it is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Cancer, there's no good. There's no easy way to make light of cancer or to say, oh yeah, cancer's great or you know, cancer is thing. Cancer sucks. All right, kids with cancer, even worse. Cancer is an awful thing. St. Jude and St. Jude, uh, their research hospital is specifically geared towards fighting uh, cancer in children. So please, uh, you know, we've, we're working with St. Jude and their Play Live thing, which is all about gaming. You can also join it yourself and do a, a charity stream if you would like for your, uh, to help fund cancer research. Um, yeah, there's, it's, there's no easy way to like say that. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's an awful topic to talk about, like to be I'll quite honest. I, I know. Well, I miss you, Ted. <laughs> I miss you, Ted. All right. Scores have been tallied. Let's go check in with the judges, shall we? Judges. Let's talk about those first dishes. Okay. Let's talk about the dishes of the pirates, the dishes of the ninjas. Oh, wow. The space. The ninjas really brought it with the, uh, the space. I'm, just, I'm still on that murder scene. I really appreciate it. That's the way I interpret it. Um, the cherry, uh, was it the cherry filling? It was cherry pie. She used the, uh, the syrup from the cherry pie filling. It actually wasn't bad. Like, we dipped it in it, and it wasn't the worst thing I've tasted. <laughs> um, I actually appreciated that taste-wise. And then for uh, the Purple Squad's dish, uh, that, that taste was out of this world. So. <laughs> that taste was out of this world. I appreciate you diving into the space puns and continuing. It's my favorite. Uh, Judge Angelina, let's talk about your thoughts on, on both dishes. Yeah, when I saw that Kels had the, just the lemon juice and cherry pie filling, I was kind of worried for her, but the taste was subtle and delicious. It was really good. And then I was so shocked to see you got milk and seaweed, and it wasn't terrible. And it wasn't terrible. I love that both dishes have the, it wasn't the worst thing. <laughs> uh, so judges, you should be, or chefs, you should be really proud of that. They're both, they're both doing the little dances. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. We're going to go get prepped for the second dish, Ooh. which we will be revealed shortly. We're going to walk over here. We're going to get the scores uh, in just a second here. So production, whenever you are ready, hopefully we get the scores coming on here. For this very first round, they're going to throw them up. They're going to throw it up right now. They're getting thrown up right now. And I can't, I don't know if you guys see it on the screen here. It's not up there. All right, there we go. We're coming back here. All right, with a score of 45 points, the Ninja Squad, uh, really nice job. However, Purple Squad, Pirate Squad, 46 points. There's a one point difference oh, wow. between you guys. All right. So this is anybody's game. There are still four dishes Ooh. left. Okay. Four dishes left. And in fact, let's bring out Ted <laughs> to reveal the next dish. Okay. Dish two, chefs. You Cat have. Browns. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, I'm sorry. The hash browns. Is that anticlimactic? <laughs> that I'm was sorry. so anticlimactic. He just he just walked out and was like, it's hash browns. All right, you guys have frozen hash browns. We got 20 minutes on the clock. Chefs, are you ready for frozen hash browns? Yes, yeah, do this. All right, squad <laughs> says cook. All right, we've got the votes already going on right now. Frozen hash browns are the thing. Sarah, you instantly said again with the hash browns. <laughs> Maybe this time you won't lose heat for five minutes. Yeah, that would be nice. With the frozen hash browns. With the oh, frozen yeah. hash browns. I don't know. But you've got baking soda. Uh, dill bacon bits, which are always yeah. great. Butter, you have this pan, I even do. though you don't have the oven. You still have you have the griddle, have the, griddle, the George so Foreman, really happy, yeah. uh, and the super pot. Uh, <laughs> Chef Kells, you just have spices galore. Yeah. So what are you? Oh, you're already spicing. Which is funny because I'm usually so low on spices. Now I need like an oil or a butter and Your oven I, is I can just use been the, heated. I can use the grill. That's great. Uh, and already you're already just spicing the hell out of these things. I can see. Yeah. It's. I see you've also got the orzo soaking. Is that maybe used for later? Yeah, um, until I have like something like a water I can heat, then it'll just be chill in there. Great, all right. Looks like our first vote is done for the purple squad. All right, now, out of all of these, what would you prefer out of these three choices? So these are these three groups here. As you can see, you got the black beans, club crackers. Mm -hmm. 
got our rice cooker and some oil. Is that what was back there? Uh, they said you would know in the back there production. <laughs> they said you would know, otherwise you don't want it. So which one would you like? <laughs> oh no, oh, these three. That's, that's, you know, I'm gonna go with the cheese, crackers, beans because I feel oh, like that's yeah. a thing that goes Ooh. together. Ooh, that right? Yeah, that's a so good idea. I think, I think that works. What a shame you got number three though, which yeah, was this yeah, here. Like... It was the rice cooker and and I did this backwards, so I'm pulling out my oh rice Is vinegar. This a, oh, okay, I was gonna. Get it? Like clam juice. <laughs> oh, and you have the left back burner according to production. Right. So. so let's plug get another thing in. Right. Right over we here. We go back to the back here. Okay, you're gonna, gonna put that in the back there. Yeah. Right. All right. So you got rice vinegar and a left back burner. You've been yeah. begging for a heat source. You finally got one. Does that change anything? Well, you know, actually, at this point, it doesn't because for for hash browns, I really like the griddle. So right, yeah. you know, I think I'm I'm gonna go with that. And you still right have plenty of margarine left over. A gift of the moment. So. <laughs> the moment. Oh, and you're putting the bacon bits right in there. Nice. nice. All right. Yeah. You hope you maybe going a little maybe a breakfast route. Yeah, I think I think I might. We'll see. I don't. We'll see how it evolves here. What? Because like, why would you you know commit this early? <laughs> <laughs> I've that is the smartest thing <laughs> I think any chef have ever said <laughs> on this show is why would you commit this early? Uh, Kel's making quick use of the many many bowls that the many Ninja bowls. Squad has sent to you to you. Uh, you just you just toss in the hash browns, huh? Yeah, I'm tossing. I want to I want to make sure the the flavor is all in there. I'm still waiting before I start cooking to see if I get like a, a lubricant. Oh, great. <laughs> well, do I have some great news for you? Ted is on his way over here with a brand new set. I am. With if you need lubricant, Ted is your man. Okay, well, that's you know me, close. Ted the Lube guy. Ted the Lube they, guy. Uh, Just got awkward. <laughs> what they call me. All right, Ted. Oh, I see marshmallows. Why was that aggressive? That like aggressive. Because I see marshmallows. Shit. I know you're the harbinger of death. So one of these three <laughs> ingredients in each one of these, or one of the ingredients, is a forced ingredient. So which one don't you want? I mean, I could, I could figure out the marshmallows. Okay, you could figure I out actually, the marshmallows. I don't think there's anything where I'm like, that would literally be the worst thing. Right. So see, any of them would be fine. I you see, there's a can out. of jackfruit. Over there's a can right. of jackfruit. We're I, pulling that I one like out again. I like the jackfruit. I liked Ooh. it last time. Okay. I was the judge. I figured it out. I ate it. <laughs> so your squad actually gave you the second grouping of things. Oh. So your first ingredient here is this jalapeno. Okay. Oh. And production's cutting out on my ear. Uh, so this forced ingredient is actually forced oh, for the I'm purple sorry. squads. Boy, so that would have been lovely on. for oh, them. Oh, I kind of wanted the pizza. I know, like, I'm kind of pumped know, about right? that as a forced ingredient. Okay, there we go. So these? purple squad so, has to be forced Velveeta cheese You get sauce. sesame oil and chili habanero sauce. Ooh. So enjoy those. Those aren't forced, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these will be really good for, for later settings. I think I could use the... We do have, and we I noticed we've not actually talked about it, and this is something the judges have noticed too. Yeah, the, that that last dish, a tri-tip. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on, what really is, excited. what is that? Sh mm -hmm. Judge Katie, what is what is going on I over there? Oh, steak. I'm, I, I've been craving steak for like two weeks now. Why didn't you go get a steak? I don't know. <laughs> I've been waiting for this show because I know our chefs will uh, cook it to perfection. You know, mm -hmm. it's worth the wait. We've been, uh, we've been admiring it all, all episode. It's calling to us. Let's talk about these hash browns. Oh. Let's talk about these hash browns. Going in the panini press. They're going in the panini <laughs> press, going to press to perfection. You know? uh, what would you like to see from this hash brown dish? Ooh. You're not going to get it. I'm just curious as what you would like to see. <sighs> well, I'm really... Butter. 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 Yes. butter. We, got, we have margarine over here for sure. But that... It's not really butter. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I mean, we're kind of Paula Deen over here when it comes to butter. The more butter, the better. You know, that's yeah. what we say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good. <laughs> but I'm really excited about the spicy jalapeno Velveeta. I don't think I've ever had Velveeta. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're missing out. I, I mean, you're not, but it's it's crazy. All right. Uh, we've got some forced ingredients for Chef Kells to come use. We've got some ingredients wah, wah, wah. for our chef and then some forced ingredients. All right. Welcome back, Ted. Oh, thank you. How are you doing? I'm oh, good. No, it's a long time no see. You're not Mike. <laughs> Stop giving me that look. Wow. All right. Kels just giving me the death glare. <laughs> So these were the three groupings of categories on here. Now the forced ingredients were the fruit cocktail, the smoked, uh, smoked oysters. Smoked oysters. Yep, gonna go along with it, the smoked oysters. And then the third forced ingredient here was, as soon as I can actually find that on here, was the canned pineapple. Great. So what which of these would you want to force on your opponent here? 
Which would I would want to force on my opponent? Yep. I, I think I would really enjoy forcing the uh, the fruit cocktail. Ooh, the fruit cocktail. All right. Well, here are your ingredients here because they picked number two. You get those tomatoes and the uh, chili oro. Chili oro. Oh. And you get smoked oysters. <laughs> enjoy those in your hash browns. All right. So I've never seen this. this judges. Is Smoked oysters must be present in the hash brown dish. Oh, it's a can. <laughs> I was there was, to out. There was the, probably the best look that I've ever seen Angelina give on the show. Uh, you judges. Gotta, you gotta be pretty, pretty good to pull off smoked oysters in the hash browns. I didn't know it came in that form. Yeah. Wow. We're learning lots today, aren't I, we? I, you guys are taking me to class. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's Kels. If anyone can do it, it's Kels. Kels, are they really that bad? Let's. It's just the smell. Ooh, that is that is a strong mm -hmm. odor. All right, chefs, let's talk to be about these forced ingredients. Chef Kels, how are you gonna handle smoked oysters in these hash browns? I realize I also need a knife, but <laughs> we have one. we need to get one for you. I apologize. We're I supposed think my to get... plan is dilution. Dilution. All right, gonna dilute mm -hmm. as much as you can. Uh, and Chef Sarah, the Velveeta cheese sauce. Yeah. Uh, I, so, I mean, I, I feel like cheese and, and hash browns, I'm in a pretty good place here, really. All right. Yeah. Uh, looks mm -hmm. like uh, Ted's on his way back with some sabotages here. Oh, I am. He, oh, he is. Oh, I am. So, Kels? Yes? You're going to give me an angry look again? Medium. Uh, okay, a medium you look. You want to smell this and then medium look? It's fine. So, what we have here is uh, three different things that your squad just voted on. They got lemon and a sabotage for the purple squad called mugged. And then in the center here, we got green lentils, potato, and a sabotage called upside down. I don't know what that one means either. <laughs> then you got a ladle for the last third round there. And then you also have what looks like peanut oil. That'd be yours. And the sabotage would be light, or what is this? Liquid theft, meaning that uh, you get to steal a liquid from oh. them. Any of those that you're really into? I would love to steal a liquid. You would love to steal a liquid. What a shame you got a lemon and they picked mugged. Now, you want to explain what mugged is? Uh, yes, I will. Mugged means that, uh, Chef Sarah, you're going to have to plate these hash browns in mugs. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Perfect. Let's go ahead and we'll wash these. There we go. We have found the reason why your chefs didn't get the parry knives because they were hidden. So I'm going to wash these for each of you. And get you guys these parry knives. How are you supposed to start out with? I was supposed to do this. Do I want to cut these things? What's my it was the Velveeta cheese. Oh, That's your okay. forced ingredient. I want to make sure I wash these real, real good here for you guys. There we go. All right. Mug. Plated in mugs. Chef Sarah, how are you going to handle plating hash browns in mugs? You know, I, I think when you have a mug, you've got to go with a layering kind of a thing so that you, you plunge down and you get layers of flavors Ooh, as you go down. Layers right? of flavor. Yeah. I like the way you said that. All right, what is that? That is the chili I, I, oil? I, basically, as far as I can tell, that's cat food. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Great. I hope our judges enjoy cat. Well, I mean, they do like cats. They're very that's cat true. That's true. It's solidarity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. She's trying to appeal. And there you go. And uh, Judge Katie is sitting there playing with the kitty. <laughs> Play it with the kitty. Great. All right. Uh, mugged. All right. So you're gonna go for a layer technique, you say? Actually, yeah. you've got the uh, you have the rear burner, not the front burner, by the way. Let's go ahead and. Um, how come it was melting? Oh, I got the. Oh, I see. Your thing is I have to do that. Except it has to be a lot lower. Oh, okay, you're right. I don't want to. You're gonna burn my Velveeta cheese. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not officially on the squad anymore, so I can't help you. I'm trying to keep you honest. <laughs> Right, to be honest, you show up one day on my squad, be <laughs> super devious, and it sticks with you. Yeah, I see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> you got a potato. When did you get a potato? To, that they, was the first it? thing. All right, to add to your potatoes. To add to my potatoes. That seems great. All right, I see you're diluting. Is that the oyster? Is this that, is the oyster right here. That doesn't look wonderful. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. It smells possible. totally fine. It smells, to uh, it smells okay now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they went from the smells totally bit. fine. To it smells okay now. Do we have a sabotage coming? Yeah. Is it? Oh, all right. Come on over, Ted. I'm waiting for your cue. Hey, you come on over. Hey, big boy. Well, hey there, Ted. Come on down. Oh, it's me, Wacky Ted, with wacky more ingredients. Ted with the There's your mugs. For, Great. Uh, I'm gonna hand you might over. need to wash off a little schmutz on the side there. Why is there schmutz? Why was nothing washed? <laughs> it was actually our dishwasher didn't do a good job. So here's what we got. So for uh, the ingredients here, Chef, I don't know if you have the ability to take a look at what you got here for ingredients and sabotages now. The sabotages for Purple Squad were minimized cookware, was <laughs> saucy, and was disarm. Now the things that you could get here, you can see the ingredients or whatnot. Yeah. Anything that strikes your uh, 
strikes your fancy. Yeah, I, I mean, salt is always useful. Yeah. Like, okay, what, what is this herb that we've got here? That is basil. I mean, that's not bad. Basil okay. sounds good, right? And yeah, and is it water? We don't know. The, yeah, it's water. No, it's white vinegar. It's that actually full of vodka. <laughs> better. I mean, mm -hmm. I might need that just to get through the round. Absolutely. But, yeah. uh, so your squad <laughs> voted on number three, sabotage number three, which means that you get Bizquick, you get Basil, <laughs> and your opponent is now disarmed. So there you go. Uh, all right. That means you lose your uh, your knife. Oh, okay. <laughs> that oh, little knife. <laughs> oh, and any utensils. I'm going to take them tongs, uh, your tasting spoon. No, that's, I that's all you have. spoon. Last time you took my spoon. Yeah, I'm taking it again. Give me that can open. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Can I have my plating supplies? Yes, those you can have. What would you like to plate on? Uh, plate. <laughs> of course. Uh, it's only five minutes though. So, uh, what what la what size plate? Large or small? Uh, small. There you go. Okay. Uh, you know, sabotages aren't aren't the worst this time around. Let's talk to the judges. The judges. What do you think of these sabotages right now? Chef Kells has just lost all of her utensils for the next five minutes, and uh, Chef Sarah has to plate in mugs. So talk to me about these sabotages and how you think they're going to affect our judges or chefs today. I don't necessarily see uh, the Purple Squad's uh, punishment as a punishment, as uh, hash browns to me are a breakfast food. And so mugs, you know, in the morning, breakfast, coffee for some people, me, Red Bull, you know, it, it makes... Dunk them right in. Dunk them right in. There yeah, I think Kels is really suffering with this one, and I, and I feel for you, darling. I feel for you. Yeah. As a, as a former wink, wink. chef, former disgraced chef. <laughs> disgraced <laughs> chef, wow. She had to, remember when you had to run? Oh yes. That form. But that I, form I would just wanted to say taking away a chef's utensils is particularly cruel because then they're at risk of burns. Mm -hmm. Not burns. Not burns. burns. <laughs> it burns the us. Flames. <laughs> well great, we're going to come back to you guys in just a second because it sounds like, it sounds like I hear the tread train, the tread train coming, the Ted train. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> I'm back. You back. We've got some more things for you here today. If I get butter, I'll forgive you. Uh, there's no butter, in, as you can see here, but uh, Green Squad did vote on a scoring, ca scoring category, and those were puts you to sleep, uh, balanced meal, and cubic. Now, they also come with these ingredients here. Now, any of these ingredients that you want are the scoring categories that you'd like? Um, the spatulas. The spatulas. <laughs> All right, so that gives you a little something. Uh, well, they voted on number two. So here is your sesame oil and your bean dip. More sesame oil. And uh, the scoring category is balanced meal. Balanced meal is this hash brown oyster Velveeta cheese bacon and tomato dishes a balanced meal. <laughs> balanced meal. I mean, chefs, how are you going to handle balanced meal? I, I'm keeping it a secret till the end. Yeah, okay. I've, got a, I've got a plan. Okay, you've got a that, plan. Like it's it, it's my secret squirrel plan. Okay, the secret squirrel plan. Uh, and Chef Kel, Chef Kel, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for today. That's, <laughs> I really am. You, you look you look so sad. Just talk to me. Talk to me. I'm about, positive. I'll figure it out. You are you are positive. You'll figure we it out. We have so many chances for redemption. There are so round. many. We still have three more rounds after this. So, not to worry, judges. It means you only have to taste I'm this oyster this hash brown. Mm. I'm making this edible for you. She's doing her best. All right, yeah. we've got another scoring category. Choo Choo the Ted Train. <laughs> woo -woo. We need the little hoot hoot. I told you, I was trying to buy a whistle online last night, a train whistle, so that I could come in with it every single time. I love it. Uh, it's perfect. So, I love it. Purple Squad Leader. What you looking for, or chef, what you looking at here? Anything that's uh, catching your eye, especially this clam juice? No, we had so much discussion <laughs> about clam juice Your today. favorite. Yeah, uh, Yeah. I mean, are you going to take the shot of clam juice? I will not. Well, if Ted gives me 100 bucks, I will. Uh, <laughs> we also have a fondue, but you can plug something else Ooh. in right. whilst you're at it. Take yeah. some of those hash brown fondue. What's, uh, so what, what, what else do we have over there? Oh, you have black choy? pepper and bok choy. Bok choy comes with this one. Oh, OK. Okay. Well, I mean, black pepper is is for the win. I would black say black pepper's like, that's for the, the win. Most useful and flexible right there. Lucky you. The squad has voted to give you black pepper. Oh, oh I, I love so my squad. My squad is good to go. Me. And here is your scoring category, uh -oh. Mike. All right, scoring category, folks, ladies and gentlemen, chefs at the ballpark. At the ballpark. Chefs and judges at the ballpark. <laughs> Balanced meal, because when I think of going to eat food <laughs> and think of those Seattle Mariners garlic fries, that to me says a balanced meal. Mm -hmm. Dodger dog with all the fixins. For those of you LA fans, maybe Ted Zillin knows what I'm talking about right there. Uh, actually, production Kevin also knows about Dodger dog. Judges. Judges, let's talk about at the ballpark. 
balanced meal. Thoughts, quandaries, questions. Mm. When I think of ballpark, I think of beer, peanuts, and uh, at Safeco Field, I feel like they have those, uh, what are they called? Uh, they, they grill up crickets? <gasps> yes, they like fry crickets. And so uh, for me, that's a balanced meal. You know, everybody's uh, definition of a balanced meal is different. You got all the food groups, the complete pyramid. <laughs> the pyramid. Wait, nope. No, <laughs> no, nope. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Uh, but isn't that just Wu-Tang, though? Yeah, this is, this is the Wu-Tang. Yeah. Oh, Wu-Tang yep. Wu -Tang is for the children. That's right. That's not... For the children. Wu-Tang is for the children. I'm just really excited about the oysters. You know? You're still excited about the oysters? Really Great. Excited. All right. Uh, Ted's coming back. Uh-oh. Maybe not. We're going to have 10 minutes there. They're looking for something. They're what are we on my... What are we on my... my, my uh, you, timing wise, uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for production to tell me. You probably have your utensils back pretty soon. Three minutes. Woo! Cops are here. All right. Ready, ready to get her stuff back? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, does she get her stuff back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the timer up. Your so, stuff is over. Here so are the things back. that you have, have available to, wait, to you. Hang on, excuse me, sorry. We need to get her stuff back. Oh, I'm back. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's not no, 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 here, here. Okay, go. now, here are the three different categories of things that you have available to you. Kels, you want to take a look real quick here at anything? No, you have two minutes and 30 seconds, but I'm going to take more of your time here. <laughs> if there's anything you're looking for. Peanut oil. The peanut oil. All right. It's different than sesame oil. What it is, is, the other it thing? is different than sesame oil. <laughs> but it's cooking sherry. And, yes. a, and a pan that... No, that pan can't go in the oven either. But it's a pan. Okay. Yeah. So they actually gave you a whisk and black pepper. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, black pepper's good. <laughs> so enjoy that. And you also have use of the microwave now, by the way. So... Oh. Yeah. So hop on that. Well, that's a, a, an add-on. <laughs> that's a good thing. All right, great. So that's not bad. I got some black pepper and a whiskey. You have more utensils for us to take away later. Um, <laughs> Chef Sarah, can we talk about this cheese sauce? Yeah. Uh, what happened? Uh, I'm going to get these yeah, out of the way uh, here. Uh, what happened is I got distracted, and, and this is what happens to Velveeta when uh, <laughs> when you get distracted. So Angelina, does that, that, feel, Angelina does that look familiar at all to you? Uh, <laughs> so I would never burn Velveeta. You would never burn Velveeta. Them. That's true. Angelina has but never burned cheese on this show. Oh, yeah. Angelina would never turn a smokeless griddle into a, a, a fog of war. That was a cheddar crisp. It was a cheddar <laughs> crisp. <laughs> uh, excuse you. All right. Chefs, uh, you have a minute, le a minute and 20 seconds left. Uh, you were already beginning to plate. Oh, I see. What is happening over here is just... And turn that so that the folks at home can see that. I'm not going to let make sure the judges can't see. The judges are able to see right now. What is going on over here? Well, I mean, we've got a ballpark, a balanced ballpark theme, right? Yeah. So I, I felt like, you know, you need a ball if you're at the ballpark. <laughs> yeah. And it's got to be balanced in some way. And so, uh, you know, I've got to I've got to respect the theme here and uh, make it a balanced meal. A balanced meal. You're going for the literal <laughs> balanced term. Great. All right, Chef Kells, what do you got? Our magical girl, what do you got going on over here? You know, now flower me with magical girlness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's working. It's I got, working. I got some, some patties. It's all food that's cooked. Ooh. It's all food. That, which it is, is, and they, it is heavily and, spiced. And food at the ballpark is cooked. So you've got that. I hope so. <laughs> you've got, you know, so how is this going to fit into the if balanced I got meal? The ballpark, I'd be like, yeah, seems about right. <laughs> All right, chefs, you have five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. Done. Let go. Don't touch it. I see you over there. All right, we're going to go ahead and take these dishes over to the judges. <laughs> Round two is complete. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to come back for these. Right. Because it's got to be balanced. It's got to be balanced. I'm going to come back for those. Keep an eye on her. Don't let her touch everything. All right. All right. Coming I'm, to you I'm first. I'm not touching it. I am cleaning. <laughs> is uh, Chef Kell's hash browns. Please hold all thoughts until I return with the other dish. I'll be right back when I grab these here. Careful, man. <laughs> I thought those were movies. I thought Ted had a stack of DVDs he was holding right now. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, and here you go. All right, from the green squad, we have Kells is ballpark hash brown patty with the forced uh, oyster uh, right on top there. Yeah, um, and then from uh, that's the ninja squad. From the pirate squad, uh, we have the ballpark balanced meal where the ball is balanced on top of the the bug. Her hash browns, the forced Belvita cheese uh, is in there. Uh, judges, initial impressions. Talk to me. I'm gonna eat this tomato. 
My oh, tomato good. attacked me. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> all right, so you ate the tomatoes. Good. All right. Initial impressions right now, just based on uh, on visuals and aromas and, and that kind of stuff. What are your, what are your thoughts here? Uh, basically, I love both of their smells so far. Um, I love how this one, it just looks like a cute little uh, treat. And then this one, well, you know. <laughs> you're trying and you're so beautiful. Right. Angelina's already started eating. All right. We'll check in with you guys. Make sure to taste both dishes and we'll come back to you guys in a second. Let's talk to the chefs. Chefs, talk to me about that hash brown mm. round. How was the... Uh, How'd that go? How was that? Well, you know, I feel like the the squad was really helpful this time around. So they actually gave me things that you know, went with hash browns. Which I noticed. Was, which I was noticed. Nice. Yeah, I noticed mm -hmm. the pirate squad was actually really helpful. Uh, yeah. Ninja Squad, mm -hmm. however. <laughs> I feel like we're planning for the future. You're planning for the future. <laughs> I have a lot of things that would make a really delicious like Asian meal. Like I have sesame oil and all these spices and everything, and like lemon juice, everything that I've wanted in previous games. <laughs> See, that's the thing is maybe you know what I think the Ninja Squad, you know, maybe. And then here's the thing is squads have been reset. So there's a good chance people have swapped sides now, or are now more pirates and more ninjas. And so maybe you've got fans that maybe were on another squad that are seeing you on this side. You, know, you even said, oh, I'm on the green squad this time. And they're like, Kels, we're going to help you. And we're going to give you stuff that you missed before. Yes. So I'm waiting until I get a main ingredient that matches all these things, and it'll be boss. Uh, you remember, reminder, guys, just like previous shows, you are allowed to work ahead. So if you want to maybe start marinating that steak, because you're still going to have another 40 minutes or so before that steak needs to be cooked, you know, maybe some nice sesame oil can go on <laughs> that steak. You know, you're saying you're going for the Asian Asian flavors, and then maybe you can cut it later on for a stir fry or something. Just you know, keep that in mind as we start working forward, because we're about to get into our next dish very soon. Uh, I'm going to move this out of the way right now. So let's. I like get this bowl. Like a bowl. Uh, no, you can. The bowl is yours. You can wash that bowl. Out. This is the time for you to wash that bowl out. Squads, I want to remind you guys that if you are voting, make sure you join a squad. You can either join the Purple Pirates or the Green Ninjas. Uh, you cannot vote if you're on a phone or tablet, but you can vote if you're on a PC or a Mac. Also, I want to remind everyone that. Any bits donated, any subs that happen, any basically any monetary stuff that comes our way, a portion of that would be going to St. Jude's uh, and their Play Life charity, which helps uh, by, it, it goes, St. Jude Play Life is a foundation where gamers can go and raise money by playing video games or board games, uh, and all that money goes to St. Jude's Research, which is helping uh, fight the battle against children's cancer. So please, you know, if you find it in your heart, give up those bits. Uh, Ted, ooh, Ted, I got Ted dancing. I got Ted dancing. <laughs> you were Ted dancing. <laughs> I saw that as I thought about it. Uh, we're going to wait and get the scores from the judges. Uh, judges, oh, they've finished their meals. Scores have been written down. We just need someone from production to run those scores back uh, to get in there, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go, and there comes production Echo. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. Echo Diaz. <laughs> yummy, yummy. See, that is Echo the Space Bunny. Space Hippie? Space Bunny? The Space Hippie. I knew that. I'm going to come over here and talk to you judges while they input all of those scores right away. Uh, let's take a selfie. We're out right of here. I'm going to need my face. Why it's do you gonna, have it? It's one of those have it? You ruined everything. I'm so Every time. sorry. Every time. Live selfie. What's up, everyone? Great. Beautiful. Talk to me about those dishes. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kelsey really ex excelled at the sabotage. Uh, I think grilling the canned oysters, it gave it more texture and. Those the forced ingredient. The sabotage, which she just lost her utensils. Oh, sorry. Yeah. But forced ingredient. The forced ingredient. Yeah. So she, she did well there because I probably, I mean, I maybe would have been a little bit lazier with it and just put it on. But the fact that she cooked it mm -hmm. in an interesting way, it didn't. It, it helped it. It didn't um, take away from that. So. Um, the the hash browns, you know, they need oil, so yeah. the Velveeta ones were really delicious. Those were good. I mean, Kels had plenty of sesame oil she could use. Do you think she? Oh no! Do you, th <laughs> <laughs> you don't think she could? Don't be admit, ridiculous! Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> they say. Uh, and Judge Katie. Okay, so wow, uh, spicy Velveeta. Holy cow! Flavor explosion! My goodness. Oh, you're um, right, you never had Velveeta. How was your first Velveeta experience? That was so good. <laughs> I feel like any time after this, I'm gonna be disappointed though, just because it had your special touch, my darling. <laughs> um, the only thing is, when I went to grab it, I this could have been just uh, user error. Uh, the tomato <laughs> did add some very nice uh, decoration to my dress. Um, but it was a flavor explosion. 
Definitely. Right. <laughs> no, but it was, you were at the ballpark and you just you missed you missed the throw. Exactly, a strikeout for me. Uh, <laughs> but what I liked about Kels's deal was uh, at the ballpark. I'm thinking, okay, I only have so much space in my right, chair, yeah. so like eating wise, like it's a lot more functional. And I did not hate the oysters. Did I mean, not hate the oysters. Wait, we are we are reaching that mid-level bar that we set so high for Squad says, and that the that that uh, I don't hate this. I don't hate which it. Which is great. Which is I ate it. And I mean, yeah, it I looked over. was the worst. I, when, I, like, when, I first <laughs> dropped it, when I first came over, I was trying to get your impressions, and Angelina was already shoving the food in her face. Which is I came a, hungry. Which is a great sign. All right, uh, we should be getting the scores any second now. All right, I'm very curious to see how the scores are. I'm going to look right over there uh, to see. Here we go. That During that round, is that total? Uh, all right. Uh, Purple Squad, you scored 52 points. Ninja Squad, you scored 36 points. <laughs> that's a, uh, you know, that's a, uh, that's a pretty beefy difference there. Uh, with a total scores of 98 to 81 going into round three, uh, it's not bad. It's still anybody's game. We still have three more rounds three to go. More rounds. Three more rounds to go. Oh, oh, Ted dancing, <laughs> dancing, Ted. What do you got for us? Ooh, I have bacon. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yummy. <laughs> Fruit salad and bacon. Look at that. Bacon is my favorite thing. I'm going to go ahead on record right now and say any leftover bacon comes to me directly. And you are already, we haven't even started yet. You're already using the bacon for, yeah, the, for the final. <laughs> look at that. You see what she's doing? She's already wrapping her bacon. All right. <laughs> Chefs, are you ready for round three bacon? No, oh, yeah, baby. All right. Squad says cook. Let's get to 20 minutes on the <laughs> clock. You're right. So you are instantly going to use that bacon oh, yeah. in your head for the last round. Yeah. Bacon has to be the featured dish right now, though. I'm not afraid. Not afraid. <laughs> Whoa. Your, your point. Your, I like what you're doing, though, because to me it says yeah. no waste. That's right. No waste. <laughs> we got subs. I just got them told. We got subs. Talk to me, production, because I don't see it. So who do we got a sub? Let's talk about We got a gifted sub. Who got our gifted sub? Say, say it in my ear. I'm ready. Uh, Elvin Strider, oh, okay, so I didn't know what that meant right there. Elvin Strider gifted a sub. Was gifted or gifted? Either way, Elvin Strider, Elvin Strider, thank you so much for gifting that sub. We really appreciate that. Welcome to the new subscriber, whoever. And we got lots of bits. Uh, I see 13 bits from Dr. Roots right there. Welcome, Dr. Roots, thank you very much. Um, 50 bits from the Chaton says charity, hashtag charity, right? Another eight bits from Dr. Roots. All these bits come rolling in. 100 bits from Dr. Woods, this time going to charity as well. Thank you so much, you guys. We really appreciate you guys being charitable. Another 20 from the Shaitan with that hashtag charity. Wow, you guys are just getting all up in there with them bits. You just give us all them charity bits. We love it. We love it and we love you. Uh, it already smells amazing. This is why I love bacon, and especially on this show, because it already smells amazing in here. Uh, Chef Kells, you cut that bacon in half. You're going to do twice as much bacon. What are you, what is going on over here? Hang on it's a second. To fit. No, 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 no. What is going on over here? Talk to me. It's cherry and sugar. Cherry and sugar. All right. No, I'm not judging. I'm I'm in I am legit intrigued I'm... about everything you want to do with this bacon. <laughs> so you're you're using the cherry flavoring, the sugar yeah. there to line the panini press. All right. All right. Let's see where this is going. I like it. I like it. It's okay. Well, good luck. You seem you're all right. You're in the zone. I'm gonna I'm come in over. The I'm in the zone. You're in the zone. I'm gonna. Oh, please tell me we get more to plug in on the purple squads space here. Look at that big ass bottle of gin, Sarah. We about to get lit AF. Ooh, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I mean, he thinks that's going into the dish. But <laughs> He's absolutely. Incorrect. Oh my God! So, squads, if you're giving Sarah here booze, are, you want to drink. Right. Here are all the things that your squad could have been voting on. Uh, you have your choice of knife here, by the way. So I'll be presenting that to you in just a second here. <laughs> are you gonna juggle them? For that, you got the blender, whatnot, a toaster oven. You got these things here. It's a <laughs> sugar in the raw. What is the, something that you would want from your squad right now? Where are you going with your dish? Uh, you know, I, I I feel like all of these things are pretty great. So like I I mean I'd love some liquor. I mean okay. some of it might make it into the dish. I don't know. <laughs> okay. A blender is helpful. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like I'm, I'm a little afraid about where to plug things in. So I mean we can make it all work here. Awesome. So wonderfully, your squad voted for the pack number one here. So there's your <laughs> bowl. Uh, here is your gin. Hang on one second. There's your shot glass. <laughs> and. Here is your choice of knife, so pick one of them. Okay. Uh, I think I like this knife here. None of them are sharp. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. All right, thank you so much, Ted. We'll see you in about a minute and a half. Love you, Ted. Wow, look at this big-ass bottle of gin. 
Uh -huh. Everyone, and it's not even open. You'd be the first to crack the seal. Do you have a plan for this gin? Yeah. Other than other than making yourself a nice martini. <laughs> <laughs> get some um, olives later on. Get some olives. <laughs> I mean, like steak and a martini sounds steak. pretty darn good. <laughs> I think the judges would be all about steak and a martini. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me, one second here. Uh, Chef Kells. Yeah. What's, uh, what's you got a problem? No, absolutely not. Uh, I want to see what's going on over here. There's a small spout where you can actually um, you can actually mist your face with bacon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm gonna love this. Uh, no, I'm I, serious. No, no, I believe you. Just you sit there. It's the steam. It's steam. It's good. Um, it's just oh my god, now my face smells like bacon. <laughs> this is really funny. Holy crap. I'm gonna go home. My cats are gonna eat me. This is I can still smell it. This is wonderful. Um, I was told by production that you must have gone to the Angelina School of Cooking because. Only, only you guys can manage to just create such smoke-filled rooms. I believe in myself. Okay. Uh, are you ready to get some more ingredients and to force an ingredient onto the purple squad? Yes. Great. Let's see what your squad is voted on. The Ted train coming in. Choo -choo. There he is. Look at my handsome dancing boy. We're here. It's me, Becker, Ted Danson. <laughs> I'm back. Wow. Why was that the joke that got you? That was. I don't know. Are you that a Becker fan? Like, no, the Kels, Kels like, goes home goes home and watches Becker every day. That's Becker just her favorite thing on TBS or something. It's the only place they play it. Yeah. Ted. What? Stand topic. So <laughs> here are the things that you got available to you. Now, in this middle one is supposed to be the griddle. Now I'm not sure how that's gonna play out. I know how that's gonna play okay, out. So. If at any point the squads vote for something that the other chef has, okay. They get to steal it. All right. Well, the middle one's the griddle there. Uh, we got some forced ingredients. Anything you don't want? There's nothing. I, what is this? That's cocoa. I like cocoa. That's the forced I, ingredient I don't know on that how much one. I could use it, but I could. Uh, my with that one, you also it. get the right front burner. But I would like that one. All right. So your squad voted for the second one. So enjoy your IPA. <laughs> uh, the pop rock getting uh -oh. forced on the opposite squad there. Right. And the griddle. And the griddle. All right. So Chef Sarah, I got some bad news. You are gonna lose this griddle. That is hard. That's bad, right? Uh, so here's the thing. And also, uh, judges, Pop Rocks must be present in your next dish. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this Oops. griddle here. I'm going to grab the uh, this. I don't burn myself. and bring this griddle over to you. Uh -huh. Go ahead and get whatever you can off there. <laughs> Gosh. Hold on. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. I got it. I'm on it. All right, here we go. Oh, I dropped the grease trap. That's fine. Can you put it back here? I can put it back there. Are you not going to use it? Is it? Oh, I am. It's just. Okay. Well, we're gonna let's move that. Let's let's hear what's. We're gonna move stuff over because we wanna. It makes for good television when we cook things over on the side. Makes for a good shot. We're gonna move stuff over. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, everyone. And we'll move this bacon over. Bye. Here we go. Move this over. Perfect. Look at that. And the griddle will go right there. I'll go grab the grease trap that I've dropped also. <laughs> there's a, be careful, there's grease right here in the floor. It's super slippery. There's that for you. <laughs> I'll make sure to step in that exact yeah, spot. Yeah, in that exact spot. Okay. Sorry there. Usually there's two of us. There used to be two of us to help with all of this. There's no, there's no longer. Yeah, for the record, oh, that's not <laughs> what? Uh, hey, that's Chef so, Sarah. So that's a silicone and is not heat resistant, it turns out. <laughs> Welcome back, Tim. Becker's back, baby. Becker's back, baby. All oh. right, so we have here. Well, wow. After yeah. finding that one out. Um, so here are a bunch of different ingredients here. You got pack one, pack two, and pack three that your squad has voted on. Now the forced ingredients that are forced on the opposing squad are the tiger blood, the sardines, and the peppermint mocha there, mm -hmm. the uh, coffee creamer that uh, apparently was in there. So what would you like to force upon them? I, I feel like tiger's blood, you know, that Ooh. would be entertaining. Tiger's blood would be entertaining. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Now I do know what the vote is. It was number two. They forced upon green squad <laughs> sardines. <laughs> Seafood. Seafood. Oh, fish man. Uh, <laughs> there's your colander. Okay. There's your cast iron skillet. Oh, okay. Ooh. Mm. You do have that back oh, burner, yeah. too. So, uh, it's our, look at that. Oh, it's freshly oiled. I don't oh, know if you guys can see that. If we can, yeah, it's already nicely yeah. seasoned. Uh, should we just go ahead and pop yeah, this on here for you? Get it on there. Okay. Uh, the chiton says cherry glazed bacon. Kells is going to kill it this round. That actually does sound delicious. Um, you burned you burnt one of our <laughs> one of our playmat, placemats. Yeah, I did. It's what, a cutting board, not a place. Sorry, a cutting board. You burnt. 
Uh, Steve's grandmother made these <laughs> from her own cutting, her cutting books from her yeah, own bare yeah, hands. Right, You're from the plastic in her from yard. The, yeah. From the plastic that they built their house on. That was. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got nothing. Um, <laughs> judges, hi. Hey. Judges, I want to let you guys know. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Chef Kells was gifted yet another great forced ingredient that must be present: sardines. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a first for everything today, you know? Have you never had sardines? No. <laughs> they are not great. Oh. <laughs> They're better than anchovies. Well, if they have Ted's seal of approval. You're right, because Ted's one whose value is trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is on my fingers, so. Uh, McSwinger says, where's Kevin? He can start making cocktails. All right, great. Um, so, sardines from uh, the Green Squad, Pop Rocks for the Purple Squad. Where is your mind with all of these dishes and this bacon dish? I just hope I get to eat a lot of bacon. You just hope you get to eat bacon. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. Oh, we have a sabotage coming. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whenever, whoa. Whenever, whenever he sabotages, we're going to be like, whoa, here comes Ted the sabotage. Okay. Now, sardines are delicious. They are Let delicious. me tell you, they're very good. So you should be happy for that. And they have olive oil in them. But, oh, yeah. So let's talk about this one. So uh, Green Squad here, or I'm sorry, Purple Squad, has uh, voted, and they are voting on their first forced ingredient for the Green Squad here. Now, the th uh, the th or sorry, the uh, sabotages. Right. Yep. This is a Green Squad vote. Sorry, I flipped them around in my head. So the Green Squad vote right now, they're voting on a sabotage against the Purple Squad here. They've got Alanis, which I can only imagine is more set. Uh, yeah, uh, Titanic. I think, a, I think it's a singing one. Okay. <laughs> and then Catify was the third one. Now, uh, Green Squad leader, Chef Kells, you're struggling over there. <laughs> this is the hardest can I've ever opened in my life. <laughs> which She's of these do you want back. to force upon the other squad? You have Alanis, Titanic, and Catify. As, oh, uh, Catify. Catify? Perfect. Uh, Alanis it is. <laughs> great. All so right. here's your lime. <laughs> that's great. All right, that's oh. great. I got some great news for you. Uh, yeah. In the spirit of Alanis, you must keep one hand on that faucet. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. That's <laughs> that's, that's clever. Clearly like I can't, oh wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> well, you thought I was in trouble. <laughs> uh, you know, I may have known a thing or two about that, but that was the real seeing you realize it was was what made that worth it. All right, uh, are you were still struggling to hear? I I am here to help. I am an impartial judge. There Isn't we go. It's so difficult. It is. No, it is. And one of the things is you don't want to like. Mm -hmm. Flick it because then I go, it'll go yeah. flying everywhere. Okay, that's, that's good. That's is that good? Well, all right. Okay. All right. You got them? Yeah. You got them. Gross. <laughs> no, they're gross. My hands smell fishy. I'm going to rub them in bacon now. Okay, great. Uh, how about a new sabotage? Uh oh. Here comes Ted the to sabotage, man. Get every time. Every Whoa. Only for sabotages. Whoa, no. Whoa. I was going to ride on it, but then I like went that's on a, that's a seconds. Seconds. That would have been a terrible idea. <laughs> Adds to the entertainment value of the show. All right, Chef Kells, let's get ready for your sabotage. Chef Sarah, you got that one hand on that faucet. <laughs> and Ted's going to speak to you about the sabotages that was voted on for Chef Kells. So they had available to them, your squad purple had minimize heat, minimize bowl, or story time. Now remember, those all come with these ingredients for you. Okay. So which of these might be good? Think both sides there with yeah, sabotage. Yeah, I, I mean, I see rosemary, which I would yeah. love for a future round. Yeah. That'd be amazing with steak. And plus, minimizing heat is just cruel and unusual. So awesome. So, well, for that. lucky for you, Green or Purple Squad has voted to give you ah. the fresh rosemary. So love here it. you go, Mike. Minimize her heat. Mm -hmm. All right, Chef Kells, you are going to lose one of your heat sources. Oh. You can. One of them? Do I get to pick? Oh, Sarah gets to pick. Sarah, you get to choose. She's going to lose one of these heat sources and then be swapped out for the mini maker. Uh, I, the griddle. The griddle is sure. gone. All right, let's <laughs> unplug this griddle. We need that mini maker uh, right over here. So let's go ahead and get that. And that is unplugged right now. Where's that mini maker at? I don't know. You're great. I see. There it is. <laughs> There goes Mike off screen. Which one was unplugged? The griddle is unplugged. Which one's the griddle? This is a big one this right here. Okay. Yeah. This is right back. So take everything off there, and you now have this mini maker. Peppers, brown sugar. I do like the mini maker. Please. Jeez, there's a lot of oil on here. Yeah, well, there's a grease trap. So there you go. There is your mini maker right over there. It's your favorite. It's your pal, cows. Hello, cows. Hello. It's your pal. Get a, <laughs> get 
get away from me? It's not the time. It's not the time. Uh, Sarah, hand on the faucet and the other hand on gin. Yeah, let's <laughs> begin to open. Let's crack this open for us. She should be swinging. Um, all right. Looks like we got some scoring categories. Sarah, what do you got going on over here in this oven? Uh, on the stove here. On the stove, yeah. So I've got some uh, some bacon wrapped tomatoes Ooh, here. All right. So so that's how we're we're featuring the the bacon, and then I've got um, some some a gin sauce that's going over here, tomato gin sauce. Tomato gin sauce. Yeah. How do you use the pop rocks? Uh, you know, I I'm, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, yeah. and so I think I'm I'm gonna turn that into a sauce at the end, or it might just be an explosion of flavor, like on an the, explosion of flavor. On the plate. You do have six and a half minutes left to so how, think yeah, about how that. How long do I have that I have to hold on to? This you thing? probably have about, about another four minutes of that that's thing still. Really cool. Uh, reminder okay. though, if you're gonna make, what was that? Mm -hmm. One more minute. One. One minute left. Okay. Uh, if you do, we're going to make a sauce. You might want to start working on that sauce as soon as you can. It looks like Ted's on his way back with some stuff. Oh, my God. That is a Ted. I did it. You did it. I'm back. You had me freaked out. As a father, I was worried. <laughs> You're old enough to be my father, my I am. Get spoilers. I am your father. Oh. Yeah. Call me daddy. All right, daddy. So here's what we got <laughs> available to us. We have uh, these three scoring categories. Kels, your squad... Now, there's nothing here, by the way, because it's the rear back burner oh. is what you get there. Um, so it's rear back burner in scoring categories of hardy, triangular, and with chopsticks. What? With it's chopsticks. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay. <laughs> none, of these, none of these appeal in you? Yeah, rear burner. Okay, perfect. Rear burner. Uh, perfect, because they gave you the rear burner and <gasps> hardy scoring category. Ooh. All right, hardy. A hearty scoring category. Bye, Daddy. Thank you. See ya. See ya, my boy. My sweet, sweet dancing boy. Mm -hmm. Scoring, do you, do you, I'm here to help. Look at, whoa. The gin. We got gin going into the, into the cast mm -hmm. iron. Look at that. I'm going to get out of the way there for that camera because another camera's going to want to see this. That is a lot of gin. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm scared about how much is going to evaporate before I can safely grab that pan. Just inhale. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to get me through this round, actually. <laughs> Punish food's gone. Say what? Punish food's gone. Oh, okay. You can get your hand off the pot. Oh, yoo -hoo. There you go. Thank you very much, judges. Uh, judges, we're going to come to you in just a second. We got a new scoring category up, ready to go. I'm here, Daddy. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, my precious boy. All right, Sarah, oh. listen up. Let's squat. Let's, let's, let's just ruin it. that whole round. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Sarah, here are yeah. your scoring categories here that you have okay. available to you. You got Funkadelic, Crispy, and Sloppy. So, uh, I'd say it's better to be sloppy than crispy. Yeah. Well, with bacon. Crispy bacon. With a lot of things. <laughs> so, which one do you hope that they voted on? That, which one hey, you also got a little, a couple other ingredients, but I mean the scoring category is really best. Yeah, I mean sloppy and crispy are both nothing but goodness here. So. All right, what about funkadelic? You don't want that? Uh, you know, we'll make it work if it happens. All right, scoring category was sloppy. That was picked. Uh, so there you go. There's your ingredients oh, okay. to come along with that. <laughs> what did you got? Oh, you got some. What is this? Rice? Some orzo? Mm -hmm. What is this? I, I'm, oh. It looks like basmati rice, maybe. Uh, that is. <laughs> Rice. Then rice. rice. There you go. Good. You got jasmine. Jasmine. That's jasmine. Jasmine, jasmine rice and some carrots. There you go. Judges, okay. let's talk to the judges. All right, score. And sloppy. Sloppy, hearty bacon. Coming your way. Let's see. Let's talk about these uh, scoring categories, these forced ingredients. Uh, what are you surprised to see? What are you hoping to see? Let's talk about your expectations of what's going on, Chef. You have three minutes left. Ooh. Well, bacon is a pretty hearty meal, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen a non-sloppy piece of bacon. That doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, I'm just really curious about the Pop Rocks. I don't know if it's going to pop in my mouth, like with a flavor and explosion, because she's kind of got that pattern going on right now. Yeah, what do you think, my darling? I think Kels has definitely got an advantage in the sloppy category, based on what we see with the sardines. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're making it work. Exactly. She's that's the motto for today for Kels. She's making it work. Making it work. <laughs> Kels is making it work. Now let's talk about this for, the forced ingredients. So the pop rocks you said she's gonna uh, Chef Sarah's gonna either try to make them into a sauce mm -hmm. or maybe sprinkle them on top for that flavor explosion that she's so known for. Uh, Kels has the sardines. What are you guys' thoughts on the sardines? You saw her right now. She's sort of chopped them up and threw them on the on the uh, the griddle there. She's already got like a cherry glazed bacon. So maybe you're gonna see a cherry glazed bacon sardine dish. Yeah, I mean I'm hoping that it basically tastes like chicken. Like if I. Just just cook it enough, it'll just... She's hoping the fish tastes like chicken. You know, thoughts? Let's get your thoughts, the judges, on, on these two methods. 
The last time I had bacon, it was chocolate covered bacon. Okay. So it's always interesting to test the limits of the bacon's flavor. I think the cherry actually does taste good because I tasted it. Oh. So is it because you're hungry? It is because I'm hungry. Whoa, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Came out here and surprised you. Yeah. Sorry, you weren't coming back to me here, and I needed to deliver some ingredients. All right. So I'm just going to tell you because we're in the time crunch here. We got about a few minutes left. Your squad voted for. Number two pack, so you actually don't get butter or butter oh. in both of those. Sorry about that. You get broccoli, a spatula, and some red enchilada sauce. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Every, she gives you the look. Oh, wait a minute. This they voted for number one. I'm an idiot. Whoa. I gave you the wrong one. Whoa. Well, don't wave your <laughs> broccoli at me. I knew it. There you go. No, you wouldn't do that to me. No, I wouldn't. You're right. You can't have the spatula, though. What's this? Wait, is this what I got? <laughs> it's a potato ricer. It's a potato ricer. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you put I got potato butter. You got butter. About. Uh, Chef Kelsey talking about plating. What kind of plates would you like for this dish? Oh, you've got the use as a big plate? Yeah, I'm Great. just trying to figure out how to... Un well, now I guess I don't have to unslopify it. No, yeah, you don't have to unslopify it at all. In fact, you need to make these other plates more sloppy. Okay. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Watch out now. Jeez. All right, uh, Chef Sarah, what's your plan for, for a sloppy, hearty meal? Yeah, so I, I'm making it a, a sloppy bacon roll right out of the gate Ooh, here. Okay. So, you know, it's not perfectly rolled, it's it's sloppy. Sloppy roll, the sloppy yeah. rolled tomato wrapped bacon. Bacon right, wrapped yeah. tomato, yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the hearty going to fit into this? Um, well, ba isn't bacon hearty? Bacon itself, <laughs> you're right, bacon itself is hearty. How foolish of me. <laughs> yeah, right. How foolish of me. All right, chefs, you have 15 seconds left before these dishes need need to go out there. Uh, okay, all right, all right, I see what's going on here. The top rocks are gonna be placed on there. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, hands down, all right, hands up, hands up, okay. Let's go ahead and deliver these sloppy, hearty bacon dishes. Which which one would you, these here right there? Great. Actually, let's take that one. This one, we'll take this one, all right. This is, this is much easier when I had help. When I had it, when I had a partner to do this with. All right, chefs. Yeah, Ted. <laughs> From the Green Ninja Squad, we have uh, the sloppily thrown together cherry glazed bacon with a little touch of sardine hash. Uh, from the Purple Pirate Squad, we have a tomato wrapped in bacon, sloppily rolled Ooh. in bacon, uh, with a little bacon bit and pop rock salad uh, on top of there. Um, and of course, both chefs would like to remind you that bacon itself is hearty. <laughs> that it is. That so, it is, Mike. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about first impressions, Angelina. You're you're staring at these dishes. I feel like I've been getting like an amuse bouche for every meal. Where is the the portion? Well, we are doing five dishes now, five servings. So you, you may yeah, be getting get, smaller like, half portions. A piece of bacon. We're big eaters. We're big eaters over here, Ted. Is that no, Ted, Mike. I'm sorry. You're on my. You're on right here. Check the nails. Show the show the camera. Show the nails. Can we show the nails? Well, we should be able to. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to. I don't know which camera. Oh, they're coming. Here we go. There we go. It's coming over here. Show the nails right there. There it is. I don't know if I can zoom in more, but this is going to be a slow zoom. Nails, nails, nails. All right, for those of you that says, Mike, there we go. Well, now you have to get pirates and ninjas written on there. I'm ready for that challenge. Okay, so other than having such small portions, let's talk about the initial impressions on just on the way the dishes are served. We have, you know, the very different styles here. Thoughts? beginning to look a lot like Christmas over here. Okay. Oh, I love it, and it looks like something I would get in a dive bar. I'm pretty Great. excited about it. All right, it. perfect. All right. Well, make sure you taste both dishes, get those scores, and then let's talk to these uh, these uh, chefs. Your chefs, talk to me about this bacon round and your thoughts. You know, it looks like Pop Rocks is always, uh, you know, a dicey ingredient. It's yeah. like, because, you know, I, I wanted to go for them into the sauce, but then especially when I was holding the uh, the faucet here, yeah. I, I was pretty <laughs> sincerely concerned about how explosive Pop Rocks would actually be right. in my sauce. Definitely. I feel like that was, you know, was, you know I, I was going to limit the fire hazard on you that been, one. You might have been far enough away, though, yeah, where it wouldn't right? have mattered. That could have like... been the ultimate sabotage for Kells over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Chiton says, Kay Dallin, your nails are amazing. Uh, Kells, let's yeah. talk about your bacon and your sardine. The, your squad seems to just be, or the Force Ingredients Purple Squad, it seems to be just loading you up with all this seafood today. Yeah, it's like a lot of seafood. Are you about okay. to crack this beer? Is that what's going on? And the time I had the rice, it would have gone great. And yes, I can't open this. Well, you have the can't, all you gotta do is ask. All you gotta do is ask. That's it, that's it. All right, okay, three rounds down, two rounds to go. 
You guys are both, I see you've got uh, a married, oh, you're right, you're gonna start marrying, working on that, uh, that tri-tip there. You've got the bacon wrapped steak. You guys are just waiting for that 20 minutes to cook a tri-tip later on. Do you guys think it's gonna be enough time? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, it depends on how the judges like their meat. I personally like it rare. Okay. So uh, then, you know, if, if they like it rare, then we're all good. If they want it well done, then it's going to be a little more work. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, looks like the judges are just about done with scoring here. So we're going to check in with them just a little bit there. Uh, what are you guys hoping for? You guys have no idea what this next dish is going to be, don't you? No. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. In that case, we'll continue to talk <laughs> about, uh, about these, uh, the final dishes there. What are you hoping for? A good score. It's a good <laughs> score. Great. Great. Dr. Woots says, ooh, tri-tip. That's right, Dr. Woots. I want to eat this. Like, I, I'll eat the third one. You can't keep it for Well, I'm, I'm like, there's so much bacon left over, and I'm like, can we just cook this bacon? I'm gonna, we're about to get Echo out here later on so she can finish the bacon, because Echo makes some great bacon. All right, I'm going to go over and talk to the judges here. Judges, let's talk about the scores without giving the numerical value. Talk to me about those tastes. For scoring category, like hearty, I'm going to harp on about this a little and bit By more. all means, do it. Scoring category is hearty. I want more than a half a piece of bacon wrapped around a cherry tomato. Ooh, all right. Gotta be a little bit more. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, mess, I, I mean, the scoring category of messy, or what was it? Hearty. It was hearty and sloppy. 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 So, sloppy was spot on for both both chefs. Hearty? Not so much. Not so much. Not as hearty. What about taste-wise? The cherry pie filling on the bacon was not terrible. Cherry glazed bacon, uh, the chiton was like Kelsey's gonna kill it with that. I mean, it does, you get that nice combination of sweet, yeah. Healthy. But the one problem I had with that was that you have to also take in consideration the sardines. That is part of it. You know, you have, I think we talked about this on the last show. Do you just take the cherry bacon with the, uh, on the side and then the sardines but you kind of have to consider it like together and for taste yeah. that was the one thing normally so in a dish you know normally everything is supposed to complement one another so mm -hmm. I, I like in my personal opinion, I would agree with you that if I'm gonna eat something like when I eat steak and potatoes I take a bite of the steak and then I run it through the potatoes and eat all of that exactly. at once so you went with the cherry potato the cherry glazed sardine it was not a fun experience no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. had uh, you had sardines before because you're saying a lot of first no today. I hadn't had it before and not never again <laughs> Never yeah. again, my Great. God. <laughs> but yeah, for the other dish, the Pop Rocks, it was cool because um, the bacon was a little bit wet and so they were popping as they were coming to Oh, do you get the flavor <laughs> explosion that she was hoping for? Flavor explosion, amazing, yeah. We're hoping that maybe in the next round, we get two more rounds left. Oh, I'm ready. It's two more I'm rounds so to go. Ready. We're gonna get the scores up in just a second here. Uh, Wow, we, going to that last one, uh, we have a score of the Purple Pirates at 98 and the Green Ninjas at 81. <laughs> After that score, Pirates actually scored less, 41 points total, to Ninjas, 44 points. Uh, the taste was sort of the big factor. Hardy, uh, Angelina scored and just killed the purple squad there. That one piece of bacon wrapped around a tomato was not hearty enough. So with that, that brings the new scores to 139 for the purple squad to 125. Still two more rounds left. Still anybody's game. Let's get... Let's get our ingredients boy Ted back out here. <laughs> Coming from the opposite side. Oh, now, our, ingre our ingredients well, are over there now. Ted, uh, what do I'm, we got going on? These are uh, egg roll wrappers. Egg roll wrappers, chefs. You have 20 minutes for egg roll wrappers. Are you ready? Ready. All right, 20 minutes for egg roll wrappers. Oh. Clock has already started. Squad says cook. Did I get rear burner? You back. did back burner. You did get back burner. Yes. Okay. Yes, you did. Wow, egg roll wrappers. I immediately, I'm at a loss. I would have no idea what to do. Chefs, do you guys have plans? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> yeah, figure it out, great. Uh, yeah, I mean, things, you try to put things in them, so hopefully maybe the squads will get you some more ingredients to put into these egg rolls. Because yeah. right now, all I see across both, uh, both tables there are just a lot of seasonings and oils and salts. I think the toughest thing right now is actually needing some sort of, actually, I, I don't have any sort of oil or fat. I've got a teeny tiny bit of margarine left, but uh -oh. you need something to seal this up, and you need some, some oil to cook it in. So that, that's going to be the most challenging thing with this one. Let's hope that these first batches of uh, ingredients help you out there. Chef Kells, do you have any thoughts or ideas for this? Uh... Maybe. 
not using sardines, but now I do have a lot of Asian <laughs> flavors. You do. You did say you want some Asian flavors. Yeah. Will you that's, use that's this? That's the sardine. I'm gonna try it. Okay. That's not the cherry. I don't know that that's the cherry one. It's crispy. It's burnt and crispy enough that I don't taste the sardine, which is great. <laughs> which is great. So you already got like we talked about. You have plenty of Asian-inspired ingredients. Are you hoping now for some maybe some fruits, some veggies, yeah. something you can like make an egg, like wrap it around in? Okay. You seem busy over there. Yeah. Are you are you focusing? I'm, Am I distracting you from your focus? I'm just trying not to get myself with this knife while I clean. Yeah, that would that would not be great. We don't want to see that happen. Okay, great. <laughs> Purple Squad's about to finish their first vote uh, for a batch of ingredients. Okay. Uh, you use this cat food at all? Yeah, I'm <laughs> absolutely committing to the cat food. In fact, it might be a cat food egg roll. A cat food egg roll. Uh, <laughs> Dare to dream. Judges, it's not cat food. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank God. We don't know that. <laughs> it is seasoned shredded pork meat. Come on over, Jen. Beep, Got beep. It. I'm a Jeep. <laughs> oh, God. And, oh, yeah. No. All right. So one thing broke on there. I'll end up cleaning that up in a second here. I but hope they didn't, that wasn't something that was voted for. Yeah. Nope, it wasn't. Don't worry. So we have cumin and uh, some sweet baby rays on the floor <laughs> over there, as well and as the three pickles that were going to be available to you. <laughs> We also have a red bell pepper and refried beans. Ooh. Now, red bell anything. pepper is interesting. It was supposed to be an apple, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the same. It's totally the same. Yep. Sure. All right. Let's hope the squad voted for the stuff that didn't get dropped on the floor. Yep. Uh, Seems like a good thing. Good track. thing they did. So No, they didn't vote for the okay. stuff that was on the floor. You get this, the uh, refried beans, the bell pepper, Ooh, and what's awesome. supposed to be dried parsley. We believe we might have given that out earlier. If not, I'll bring that out in the next voting round here. Okay, in great. Here. No, I have time. So no, you have the time? Okay, yeah, so I need to grab that for you in just a second. I got the refried that. beans, but no can opener of any we kind. Have a we can have a can opener. Everybody here, stop yeah. complaining. You always will have something to open the can. <laughs> Jeez. Everyone. On this show, everyone, that's sketchy. Every I don't time. know. I like it. <laughs> Why do you think we should know that? Wow. Yeah, I think I need some of that. Uh, yeah, here, one, take a drink, Sarah. Gotcha. <laughs> take a drink. Why don't you calm down? Uh, you, oh, I was like, oh, shit, are you really? <laughs> you, I mean, you do I thought you were just going to start, like... Well, that would be unsanitary. You got alcohol wipes. That makes it, it Isn't it already <laughs> alcohol? All right. Wow, I do not like gin. I am impressed. Uh, nice job. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of impressed with myself, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, red bell pepper, though, right? Yeah. That's, 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 that's good. good. It can go into these egg rolls. <laughs> Are you feeling it already? You're, you're, yeah. you're still reeling from yeah, the... I, yeah, that was... <laughs> that was no, I'm, I'm just plotting ahead here. Okay. Of, <laughs> you're plotting ahead. Man, we have reached the point where mm -hmm. uh, both chefs are <laughs> starting to go a little crazy. Chef, what? what? <laughs> can I'm we, having this problem where... Uh, hang on. Let's move this out of the way. Maybe we want to get... The, yeah, I was like, maybe we want to get... What the... Uh, I'm, making, I'm making gyoza. You're, oh, you're going to make gyoza. All right. But my, my problem is, and this is what I'm dealing with right now, I've inhaled a lot of bacon fumes. <laughs> it feels so much like gum that I want to eat it, but I know it doesn't taste like gum. Uh, I mean, this is feel all it, leftover, it, right? It. Oh, this this is leftover, right? Yeah. Take a bite. No, it's Do not it. going to taste no. like gum. Take it's a bite. It tastes like bread, or it doesn't taste like gum. <laughs> It actually does. You really sound like you're torturing her over there. She wanted to take a bite. Who are we to tell her no? All right. We beep, beep, Jeep's coming on, coming I'm this sure. way. Beep, beep, I'm a slower Jeep this time. <laughs> slower Jeep. Good. Good. Even at that rate, this is like going uh, off yeah. the edge. Yeah. Let's see what Chef Kells does. All right, Kells. Here's your parsley, by the way. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. Kells, yeah. no, it's not just cranberries that they're forcing on the other squad there. You've also got the, let's see, left front burner. So if they pick oh. this one for you, you'll get that one. Which reminds me, I turned this on. Any other ingredients though looking good to you? You got chia what seeds for the other squads. What's you got what's the other thing? You got garlic. No, what this? That one. These? This? What's that? This one? Coconut aminos. This is a no coconut, coconut aminos. aminos. Coconut aminos. What is? My giggling back there. <laughs> What? I, I don't know what they are, but people tell me they're good. They're, they're, uh, Echo had told us. Somebody had told us. Uh, I, I don't know. Green Squad Amanda? voted on number one. So, fourth ingredient on the Purple Squad is the cranberry sauce, and you get used to your front burner there. <laughs> oh. Yep. All right, so you got a new heat source. You got a pan you can finally use on, uh, on fire. Uh, Chef Sarah, you're going to have cranberry sauce forced mm -hmm. upon this. What is this? Well, you know, it's nice because it's got some tart and some sweet. Thank you. By the way. And uh, I think that actually I've got some some cat food pork 
that has, <laughs> um, you know, some nice spice to it. And I always like sweet and heat, so I think that's going to be actually pretty good. Uh, it turns out this whole side of this thing gets really hot, as I found out. <laughs> so make sure we. Uh, I'm sorry. Make sure to you grab only. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was so close to the edge when I put my hand down. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Uh, so make sure you just we lift Keep from that. lift from fine. this. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Yeah. What what can go wrong today? That's the <laughs> that's the thing. All right. Uh, Purple's got a just vote on a forced ingredient to give over to Chef Kells. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna hope it's maybe something seafood. Or maybe not seafood. Oh, you're using those oysters from before. Yeah. Well, what? they didn't seem to absolutely hate the oysters. <laughs> not using what? the sardines. Hang on. Can we get a shot? I don't know if we can get a real quick shot of uh, Chef uh, Judge Katie really excited. And they really excited. <laughs> Ladies, talk to me. You guys, when I said that she's doing that, both of you got really excited. What are your thoughts right now? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging some oysters right now. From earlier, <laughs> I say bring it on. You know, she never disappoints me. She never disappoints. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna, so you're going. So now you're actually hoping for like a seafood sabotage. Yeah, because I mean, uh, making gyoza and it could be a lot of things. All right. A lot of things. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff. Now I'm actually I have more things to season and and make flavorful than great. actual like things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what I'm stuck with. Uh, once again, folks, we want to remind everyone that if you do hashtag charity in your bits, you can help donate to St. Jude Play Live. Remember, St. Jude Hospital doing really good things and really important things, helping gamers. Uh, gamers are helping children and helping this hospital fund cancer research, especially uh, for children. Uh, and it's such a huge deal and really important to all of us. So make sure you can donate some bits and do hashtag charity at the end, and then those bits will go over to St. Jude. And you can also do your own St. Jude Play Live. You can play board games, video games. Uh, you can raise your own money for charity. Uh, there's links everywhere. I believe we have links. We should have links. I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, over there, looks like Ted's on his way over here with some stuff. I am. Uh-oh. Welcome back, Ted. Yep, we got more glass on this. Oh, great. Oh, uh, okay. I want to thank the Chiton right there for those uh, charity bits. Thank you so much, Chiton. All right. So, uh, Sarah. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the things that you got here. Apparently, they're giving you another knife, maybe. Okay. So you get your choice of another mm -hmm. knife, perhaps. You can juggle. Yeah. You can juggle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then you got a few things here. There's the forced ingredients. After Jen. <laughs> the forced ingredients you'd be forcing on the opposing chef would okay. be the lasagna here, the Sprite, or I believe the Bonito Flakes. Ooh. Oh. Which would be, yep, Bonito <laughs> Flakes. Well, Excellent. she's already going for it. She's already going for a seafood thing, so, so those might that, not be the... That's the... true. I actually think the lasagna with her seafood theme yeah. would be the hardest. Well, other, other times I would want that. Yeah. Like, it would sound good, but right now that sounds hard. So right. I think that would be good for her. Awesome. They didn't do that. Instead, they gave you uh, the fondue pot, so enjoy that fondue Thank pot. You. you got some rosemary. Yeah. Giving me a lot of spices. I'm doubling down on the rosemary. Here's your Sprite. That's okay. You can work with Sprite? That. <laughs> that's not to drink. Oh! I know. You got so excited. Do you need a water? I can get you water if you need a water. Do either of you need? You got gin. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, judges, that is not the force ingredient. Sprite. <laughs> Sprite must be uh, in Chef Kells' next dish. Yeah. All right. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Chef Angelina, you're making a face. Let's talk about these forced ingredients. Uh, what is it? Cranberry sauce? Oh, and it's the can. It's the nice canned uh, cranberry sauce. Uh, Versa and Sprite with these egg roll things. Talk to me. If I were a chef right now, I wouldn't be like struggling. Because what are you supposed to do? Boil your egg rolls and Sprite? I mean. I don't know. Maybe. My first word was 7-Up, actually. So was it really? It was actually 7-Up. My mom was not a good person. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe, Mom. I love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Okay. What about the cranberry sauce? <gasps> cranberry sauce. We're ready for Christmas and or Hanukkah or festive holidays. Yes. Festive. You're ready for the holiday season. So you're hoping the holiday something or other <laughs> with this. What is happening? Hang on here. We've got the, the, the meat going into the fondue pot. Talk to me. What is happening? What is? No, what are you I, doing? I, I need my filling for my for my. Um, I, th I think they're going to be ravioli now. Okay. So my. She's going to make uh, raviolis. Yep. Uh, so so my cat food ravioli. Uh, <laughs> great. Um, with it, but I need. It's great that I got the fondue pot because now I can get that uh, starting to get that warm here a little yep. bit. Yeah. And I think we're going to mix that with the cranberry sauce so we've got cause spice and and sweet. Uh, good. I would ask what can go wrong, but you know what? Ted's about Everything. to tell us. Well, and Ted's about to come and tell us what can go wrong because yeah. Green Squad is just voted on a sabotage for you. Yeah, I'm, I am afraid. I'm not going to lie. Well, they did it a while ago. It just takes me a while to get every, everything set up here. Now, the three things that you got available to you here, uh, the three things that you got available to you <laughs> over here, Kells, 
are some butter, an onion, you got the steamer, oh, you got onion. capers. Yeah, onion. you got an onion. I want the onion. You want the onion. Yeah. Green Squad voted on number two, meaning that they, the sabotage is sketch. <laughs> There we go. Wait, you get the you onion. Get the you also, as a reminder, you do have the oven, so you can put that glass baking dish in the oven. Yay. Uh Sketch, wait. Uh, Chef Sarah, you have yeah. to stop what you're doing. We're going to need a uh, paper and a pencil over here. Because oh, you have to stop what you're doing, uh -huh. and you have to sketch me. You have to draw me like one of your French girls. I have to sketch you. Yeah, you have to sketch me. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I think we, like, so first we had Atlantis, and now we're having a Titanic moment. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Here comes Echo. <laughs> Echo, yeah, Ted messed up. <laughs> Ted messed up. Thank you very much. So here is this. You guys stop what you're doing. Okay. Uh, uh, oh my God, it's Beast. Says hello, everyone. Hello, oh my God, it's Beast. How? Uh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, because I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Turns out that was hot. So. I can, I can. Just yeah. tell me, tell me where you want me, and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I think you need. I, I don't want a profile. See, there you go. Okay. Like, um, okay. So here we go. And then we need like a nose, right? I, I know that there's like a, there's a person who I'm, I'm imitating her, an artist, but I can't, I have no idea the name of that artist, so. So it's the thing, we're going to give this to the judges, and the judges are going to decide whether or not is, this sketch is, is worthy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That, that, that was not informed before, so, I don't know. Um. So while she's doing that, I'll also ask her here to make things difficult on you. So, <laughs> out of these three ingredients, what sounds great to you? Fresh rosemary to go along with your dried rosemary, maybe? That'll be good. Uh, some milk and some sesame seeds, balsamic. Mm -hmm. Now remember, all these come along with a sabotage for the Green Squad as well. Oh, what, what are our sabotages? Uh, like you have rhyme, rhyme, time, switcheroo, and puzzler. Wish I could tell you what any of those meant. Mike can tell you, I, though. I can. Yeah, I, 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 without some information here, I don't know what you vote for, except that all I can say is, like, uh -huh. I've got an impressive quantity of rosemary. At yeah, point. yeah, you got a lot so, of like, rosemary. Something else is all I'm uh, saying. So they voted for number three. It's Puzzler, <laughs> the sabotage. <laughs> Enjoy your cinnamon and balsamic vinegar. All right. Great. I'm going to go drop this off exactly. the judges and Chef Kel. What Kels, is Puzzler? Uh, you have to stop what you're doing. Right here. And you cannot continue until you put together this puzzle. No, 48 pieces? Like They're big chips? pieces. They're big. It's a floor puzzle. Let's move some stuff all out of the way. the floor puzzle with all the pickles? <laughs> do it on the yeah, floor. No, no, just do it on the floor. No, don't do it on the floor. We'll just, we'll just do it right here. We'll make room. I don't think we can do it on the floor. I don't know where it's going to Probably I said, all right, they said do it on the floor. All right, go ahead. There oh you go. Gosh. Oh my gosh, I haven't bent my legs in a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Watch out for glass. I don't know. Watch out, yeah. Watch out for glass. <laughs> There you go. Uh, judges, let's talk about the, the, about the sketch that just had to happen. Uh, Echo took it. Uh, and this puzzle. I wish I got the sketch. Talk to me. Talk to me. You guys both have like the craziest looks on your faces. Tell me what's going on in your minds. I just, I want to know what the puzzle's going to be. Um, also, I just love the pickle smell right now, infused with uh, everything else, and I'm excited to see the drawings, you know, I think uh, our last round was creative, but I feel like that could have better fit this round a little bit, uh, been a little bit more beneficial, because you've got some uh, creative energy up in here, All as right. well as some smoke. Yeah, no, there's a really smoky, smoky smell in here. Uh, chef, I'd like to remind you guys, you only have about five and a half minutes left, so uh, Kels, you better put together that puzzle. Uh, I smell some burnt bacon. Uh, and what, you think that's not delightful? Did you, uh, I, I understand. Well, <laughs> one, it's a travesty against bacon. Two, did you burn bacon? I, I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth. <laughs> Look, all right. Uh, oh, my God, it's Bees says, I came in early and I missed something. Is that a whole jar of pickles smashed on the floor? Uh, oh, my God, it's Bees. What happened, what happened was Ted came in faster than he should have, and the pickles went launching. That was not a sabotage. I mean, it was a sabotage, and the sabotage's name was Ted. <laughs> Ted, talk to us. What's going on? Uh, hi, I'm over here now. That's fine. Stay there. So Stay there. we're, we're going to be right over here. There's no overhead shot of this. It's okay. Uh, so We've got our this going things on. Here. The scoring categories were Chewy, Technique, and Fine Dining. I'm just going to tell you which yep. one it was, Great. what it's coming with there. So the one that you ended up getting was scoring category number two, which was Technique. Technique, judges. Technique, chefs for the things. And then, uh, Kels, you got some mayo and some sort of packet. I can't use anything. Great. Uh, How's that puzzle coming? It's it's big. It's a it's, big puzzle. Yeah, it's just a giant puzzle. Remember, you do the you do the edges first. I well, I have to find <laughs> the edges. 
I got big ass puzzle man. So, I, I can hear Judge Katie laughing because she does a lot of kids' parties dressed as Princess Anna. So I'm sure she hears us. I said, do the edges first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, color inside the lines. It's that it's you know. so big. It's that it's bigger than me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, judges, Kels has four minutes left oh. to make three bits of gear. They are so sad I right think. now. Uh, <laughs> Was it supposed to be a sardine gyoza? Or no, it, it, was, it was oyster. Oh. Oyster and the Sprite. She has to use the Sprite somehow. Mike, can you just cook it for her? Come on. Uh, oh. it, I'm not allowed to anymore. I'm a neutral host. I know. I know. If I was on a squad, this is mad but I am no longer a squad. You know, it's no longer I have the apron declaring allegiance to a squad. I've actually asked Echo to make me a split apron. Yes. <laughs> so they could help out more if I need to. Um, but that's what's happening. Don't worry. She's got it going on. She's 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 almost there. Uh, Ted, talk to us. What are the next scoring categories? Uh, so. Because uh, Kells is still here, I'm just going to tell you which one it was. Yeah. Uh, scoring category number one was what it was, at the movies. At the movies. Ooh. All right. It's a technique at the movies. Uh, Here's your pan and cheddar. We got a pan and some cheddar. Some uh, the cheddar cheese Good. sauce there. Uh, I'm going to move this pan back here in case you need it for any reason. There you go. Uh, the Shaitan says, Kate Daly, tell your mom you'll cook us some Velveeta for her, and that'll put you back on her good side. Oh, Aww. my mom is texting me right now. Oh, no. Is she watching? Tell me your mom's not watching. Oh, no. Mother, I love you. Uh, you're very important to me and, uh, you know, questionable parenting skills, but we love you. Love you, Mom. Hi, sis. All the way in North Dakota. Wow. <laughs> Our biggest fan. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, two and a half minutes left. Chef Sarah, what do you got going on over there? You know, well, we might have some refried beans, but to be honest, with the time that I have left, I've, it's questionable. Okay, <laughs> questionable about the refried beans. Chef Kells, uh, tell you what, Kells, you can take a penalty and get back to cooking if that's what you would oh, like to do. Yeah. All right, she's going to yeah. take, she's opting for a penalty. Judges, I'm going to leave that up to okay. you to decide on how many points. She's going to give up on the puzzle uh, okay. so she can get back to cooking. She has two minutes left. There is a space on your scorecard for penalties. Uh, I am making the executive decision that she can opt for a penalty to not finish this puzzle. That was, that was, she ripped this box. Look at this. Oh, I didn't Look at this. That's all right. Not, that's okay. Not, that's fine. Did I really do that? I don't, I don't know. know. Do I don't know. You, I mean, you got down and, and just went for it. I'm going to pick this puzzle up. I'm not. I can't. I'm old. I can't bend. That was a mistake. Uh, Whiplash says she's not going to get that puzzle in two minutes. No. You need to get cooking now, Kells. Good luck. You have a minute and 40 left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we get some, um some plates yeah on here mm -hmm. sure what do you need uh, uh do we have more small plates or not uh you do not all you have well no you do actually i like because i forgot we still have another round so here coming yep. in with the last uh delivery <laughs> here gonna <laughs> do this here trying not to ruin this puzzle perfect and i didn't see what they voted on, because it's already off the screen for me, so I have no idea what uh, Green Squad got there. So the three things that you had available to you, and I believe it was Green Squad there, was the one that voted for that, was the tamarind, artichoke hearts, basmati brown rice. Ah, so Green Squad, and uh, I just had production in my ear tell me this, what they were given, Green Squad, was artichoke hearts, tamarind, and now you have the mini George Foreman. So you are able to take that from the Purple Squad. Great. Purple Squad's not even using it. No, Purple Squad wasn't using it. There we go. And I'm stuck. I'm glad I have paper in. There's no way I'm getting out of this. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Watch out for the glass. Okay. 15 seconds to plate, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, 15 seconds. All right, Kels, you need something on a plate now. Oh. Plates, plates, I need plates. There they are. All right, two, one, hands up, done. Just like these two right okay, there. I don't know how to, I don't know where to put it down. <laughs> That's okay, I got it, I got I it, I got it, it. okay. I, no, 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 that one. That. Say what? One. You want that one instead? Mm -hmm. Okay, the judges are saying bring me this one instead. <laughs> Great. Well, that was fun. Judges, I'm going to walk over to you. Uh, <sighs> Here you go. Uh, here's Chef Kel's uh, dish. Here is this over there. Uh, I, in all the madness, mm. I uh, 
I don't know what each, what each dish is. <laughs> I have lost track. This is an oyster gyoza. There you go. Thank you. Someone's paying attention. Uh, and this is. Is that the yams? Is that yams? Pulled pork? Pulled this, pork? It's the uh, yeah, yeah. It's the Mexican spice pork. Cranberry and cat food, aka pork gyoza, <laughs> with Stop a us cat bacon. Food. <laughs> with, with a bacon refried bean. Uh, yeah. Right. So the and then there was the. Uh, Sprite, which I don't think it got used, unfortunately, due to time. Um, what a shame. What a shame. Gosh darn. <laughs> uh, but remember, must be present in the dish, so that's the thing. It is a fortune ingredient, it must be present in the dish. And then uh, here is the, uh, the cranberry sauce we used in there. Uh, I was going to ask initial impressions, but you guys just went ahead and started without me, so that's fine. We'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, Chef Kells. Drink up. You want some gin with that? Uh, so. <laughs> Should we pour a little gin in there? It is what it does for your cooking. The gin, well, we got some tequila. You want some tequila and Sprite? You're going to help you out there? Yeah. I, I will get you some tequila and Sprite right now if you need to. Okay. okay. Chef Kells. Burn myself. <laughs> we, uh, that was rough. I got That's, it finished. You, you got those finished. I got not, that finished. You got not that finished, the not the puzzle. Big uh, puzzle. I, that was a big puzzle. I didn't see the Sprite go in. No. The Sprite, the Sprite did not make it in, unfortunately. I forgot about it. That's okay. It's, there was a lot happening. Uh, it went into the cook. It went into the cook. There you go. Um, Nothing wrong with that. Was that, was that difficult? <laughs> it was. That it was round. very difficult. It, 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 the puzzle was big. <laughs> All right, Ted's over here cleaning up the mess he but made. But I'm still excited about this tri-steak. Honestly, if I lose but get to eat the tri-steak, that would be I, cool too. I am looking forward to enjoying these steaks as well. I'm hoping there's going to be plenty left over. Um, Chef Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I can just, no, Ted, come back. Please come back. Yeah, just keep going. Uh, talk to me about that last round. You were throwing beans on there last minute. The yeah. Time seemed to get away from both of you guys in that it last did. round. Is it that, did. That, that just felt like marathon cooking. That did, yeah. You know, it, it was. it's a marathon to get through six rounds, and we're on what? The, the four? That was four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So five rounds. Five yeah. rounds. Five the one rounds. last dish okay. now, yeah. Um, so, so it's a marathon to get through. Um, I'm not sure that I'm totally sober anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you need a, Which may or may not be. Is it time for okay. another shot? Is it yeah. I, take a shot you, after every no, round? She's you first. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so that was that was a challenging round. Um, but you know what it was? Was I needed some some sort of an oil to cook mm -hmm. the gyoz in. Yep. And it took a while to get the bacon going to like because that was the only fat and oil right, yeah. that i had so i had to cook that through before i had anything to cook my um right because you still in. have all you have is the rice vinegar yeah exactly yeah. i have literally i have i have no fat except for what i can make with bacon you have, yeah, you have one last piece of bacon okay yeah. great uh dr Wood says woo go ted <laughs> <laughs> go ted all right I, really, uh, ted i mean come on like kels and i are killing ourselves the, yeah ted? Well, you know ted's breaking stuff but he has to come out and clean and he's in the entertainment he's the entertainment yeah clearly right. <laughs> clearly i'm just i've lost everything yeah. i've lost everything all right uh we want to remind everyone that if you donate bits to us today and you use hashtag charity that those bits portion of those bits will go to saint jude's research saint jude's research of course making great work and funding children's research uh cancer for research for fighting children's cancer. Uh, you can also do your own play live uh, event and play video games, board games to help a worthy cause. Um, so remember, donate some bits and do hashtag charity. It looks like the judging has finished. So I'm gonna go and talk to these judges and find out their thoughts. Hi, Hi, my Christmas queens. Hello. You guys are both, I love, I just, I love the Christmassy. Well, the, here's the thing is people may not notice. Uh, also production, our TV over here is frozen, just FYI. Uh, originally, you had brought this sweater and thought, you said, if I need to, I'll do a costume change. At intermission. At intermission. <laughs> it turns out there's no intermission. Uh, but I thought that was hilarious. Uh, and of course, you were like, no, I want the kitties. I really want the kitty, and she's such a great friend for bringing this to me. I'm like, man, chow chow meow meow. We're going to go to all the holiday parties this year. Oh, we'll be totally sober. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother is watching. My mom is. Gosh darn. <laughs> Non-alcoholic mm, buttered rum. It's fine. It's, it's butter beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. Talk to me about those dishes. Oh. They were up against uh, this round. Yeah, they yeah, really they went through it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that puzzle challenge was so such a, a needless setback. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just 
She was already at a disadvantage with the oysters. Yes. Um, what, the no thing, no oh, fillings. Well, for the, here's the thing: is the oysters weren't the force ingredients. She no. chose to put the oysters in, but so she disadvantaged. She was the, still at a disadvantage. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so she sabotaged herself. She didn't have another choice for the pot sticker filling. Mm -hmm. So she had, she had some potatoes. She could have used. Uh, maybe she could have cut off a piece of the tri-tip, tossed that in there. Ooh. I mean, I, I, it's. We I don't want to muddle the tri-tip. She don't want to muddle the tri-tip. There you go. We are looking forward to the tri-tip. We are. Yeah, uh, but fortunately, uh, we both cannot complete uh, the Green Squad's dish. Uh, but the second one, oh my goodness, the flavor. The flavor. You undersold wow. it. Yeah, I, it was really I, good. Clean play club over here. Yes. Sure. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, things, things are looking up for, uh, for Purple Squad there. Great. Um, so we'll go get a couple of croissants after this. Croissant. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about... Um, at the movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, talk to me about the scoring categories. Yeah, because we didn't really chance to, get a, yeah. to dive into that. Because, again, of course, because the madness was just insane over there. So talk to me about that. Well, I kind of took that in a different way because I'm thinking, okay, if I'm at a horror movie, do I want to be tasting something good? <laughs> no, I want to be tasting something that is putting fear in every bite. So I <laughs> kind of gave uh, my darling Kel some points for that. But then again, <laughs> Again, it goes back to the taste, like, I want to be eating a lot all mm -hmm. the time. And so, also at the movies, uh, same thing. And our other category was? It was at the movies. I can't remember. I can't remember. That, that thing. Oh, te technique. Technique. Oh, yes. Yes. Which I'm sure that was brilliant technique. We got this. We know We know what we're doing here. Exactly. Yeah, all the puzzles are going to be connected in the end. <laughs> uh, basically, that was also interesting, too, because having the, uh, uh, with Purple Squad's dish, having the bacon infused in the refried beans mm. added so much flavor. It was so good. And then Kels, you know, you're just not including that Sprite. That made it okay. That was a good That thing. made it okay. <laughs> the onions have gotten me. <laughs> oh, she's crying. Oh, yeah. Just FYI, Chef Kels is crying oh. but because, she's cutting on, because she's cutting onions. Let's get the scores up and let's see what happened in that last round. We're going to get those up in just a minute here. All right. Uh, whoa, my goodness. You, the, whoa. All right. The Ninja Squad, Chef Kels, you got 10 points on that last round. Oh, gosh. Uh, to Pirate Squad's 48 points. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you got a minus one to total <laughs> from Chef Angelina. Both of them gave you a pretty harsh penalty for not completing the puzzle. Yeah. Um, no, no, that no. wasn't because of the oh, puzzle. Oh, the puzzle and oh, the sprite? We gave her a zero penalty for the puzzle. We okay. had to give her a penalty for the sprite. They had to that give you a penalty for the sprite. Choice. So they both, okay, so they both gave you penalties they for the sprite. Do it. She didn't <laughs> want to. They didn't want to, <laughs> but the future ingredient was not, the it's fortune okay. ingredient was not available. So that means that the now score is 187 to 135 as we go into round four. Judges, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you putting up with a lot today. <laughs> Chefs, are you ready for round, the final round? Yes. The I final mean, round. You guys have already started. We've been waiting for this try. You guys have been waiting. Oh, is like this the final hours? round? I was yeah. getting ready anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get 20 minutes on the clock. Oh. Try tip. Chefs, are you ready? Woo! What's wrong with feelings? Well, cook. All right, Sarah, talk to me. What do you got going on over there? And Kels, what do you guys both going on on the stove? The onions. The so onions. many onions. Yeah, so I'm just getting a little bit of bacon going on the stove here because I need some fat um, right. to, to cook. And so I'm using my, my very last strip of bacon here to, um, to get something going for, um, for my steak. Okay. All right. And Chef Kels? Uh, I've actually got everything that I would use to make steak at home, so I think I'm doing well. Oh, all right. So you think, all right, well, so far, before the forced right. ingredients show up. Before the forced ingredients, You guys I'm are both okay. feeling pretty good. So Chef Kel says she's got everything to make steak at home. You worry you at all? Uh, I, I am. I'm not afraid in this round. Like, I've got actually everything that I would use, too, except, truth be told, salt, but I've got that in my bacon. You've got that in my bacon. And, yeah. I, like, personally, I love a steak cooked in a cast iron skillet. Yeah. As you get the yeah, sear. Yeah. You get a really good uh -huh. sear. That way, keep those yeah. juices in. Uh, we're going to have the first vote and the first bundle of votes coming out pretty soon. That's my first thought is, should I use the griddle or should I use that? Ooh, I, yeah, talk, talk to us. What would you, if you were at home and there was like, honey, you can't this. do, you don't have that. Who, do, who cooks at home? You or your husband? We both cook our own things. You both cook your own <laughs> things. All right. But you guys like, cook next to each other? Yeah. I, well, if we did, if we did a Valentine's Day show and brought you both on, would there be? Would you compete against him or with yes, him? Yes, against. Oh, him. Against. Wow! Right away, you're like, Dad, would you you'd take him down? <laughs> the thing is, is, he wouldn't know what to expect. No. And you're like, I got this. I'd be on top of it. I'd be like, Oh, they're gonna give me sardines. Yeah, I'm ready. sardines. Uh, all right. Well, let's see here. Ted's coming back with some stuff. Back. He's got stuff. Do I, I get this on again, by the way? 
I don't know. Oh, hang on. Do you guys know how to dab? You know, yeah. no. you don't have to dab. You did dab. There we go. Uh, maybe you can demonstrate. That's for it right us. there. You do the dab. Yeah. 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 Okay. You wanted a, there, it was a dab to prove that we're live. We're dab. We're gonna. Can we get a shot of the judges? Judges are about to dab too. So hang on one second here. Let's get a shot of the judges. All right. Uh, okay. Yep. Judges, get ready. Judges, dab. Nice. All right. Perfect. There we go. Let's bring right. it back here, Chef Ted. Purple Squad. Yeah, I'm Chef Ted. Today. Uh, Purple Squad. So the things that uh, she's busy. Chef. Yeah. If you want to take a look over here at what you have available to you, there's some eggs, <laughs> peanut butter, you got some cream cheese, uh, some dry mustard, some okay. sea salt. Yeah. I don't know, anything, anything looking good? I, so I think uh, dry mustard, sea salt, those things are would be great. Um, lots of flavor and goes really well with like that tri-step. Yeah. That, that tri more gin? It's fine. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? You are good to go. You just take those. You awesome. got it. That is all yours. I, I love my is that, team. Is that polenta? I, I, is that the dry mustard? Couscous. No, no that's oh, it's couscous. couscous. All right, so there's right. the dry mustard. There's the oh, you've got the, that's the spiced sea salt. That's actually like a spicy uh, sea salt. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, the mommy gamers with a one month, one month sub. Thank you so much, mommy gamers. Welcome. <laughs> uh, amazing effort from the shaitan. Uh, yeah, this is welcome. Welcome to the new squad says served. Uh, I guess we also want to remind everyone we will be back next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, and then in 2019, we'll be back every Tuesday at 7 p.m. right here on this channel. Uh, this is our last middle of the day Friday show uh, before I take off on vacation. My wonderful partner Ted is going to be the one hosting on Tuesday. Show. I think Ted, you're hosting Tuesday, right? Yep. Yeah, Ted will be hosting the Tuesday night primetime slot. It's very exciting. Uh, I'm going to be watching from home, actually. I'm going to vote. I get to vote at home. I'm really excited. That's going to be fun. I'm going to show it to my family and be like, look what I do. And they'll be like, you're not there, though. Uh, so just as a reminder, make sure you stick around because we're going to come back in 2019. Going once a week, Squad Says Served uh, with this cooking show. It's going to be awesome. Um, Sarah, what do you got going on over there? Whoa, look at this. Both of you chefs got stuff on the high. Do I get this back? You've always had that, yeah. It's back. You're good. It's not It's not forever. That was just for the, for the thing. Uh, Ted's gonna come and give some forced ingredients. Ooh, I am, I am. Beans look really good. I want some of those. Those beans are delicious. <laughs> All right, what you got there? What you got, my my spicy ingredient boy? Okay, so spicy ingredient boy here has got uh, <laughs> Kels, If you want to take a look over here, these I are all no ingredients you could get. You could uh, the forced ingredients that your squad will be forcing on the uh, opposing squad okay. there is gonna be molasses or the V8 uh, spicy hot sauce stuff and the papaya nectar. I would. I think I'd vote for the papaya nectar to go over there. The papaya nectar. The molasses All right. is that'll just yeah. Otherwise, the whole thing. Oh, that's a good idea. They didn't do that, however, what? and they voted for oh, the, the V8 spicy okay. hot. So that is your fourth ingredient. That was good with pizza. We'll see how it does with this. There you go. Red wine vinegar. Yep. Interesting. And enjoy. Guacamole, guacamole quick, quick mix. Quick there you go. Great, mommy gamers. Has got to support the best host, Mike. Thank you so much, mommy gamers. Very rude. Very rude. <laughs> it's very rude. Uh, spicy hot. You sort of gave me that like hell yeah nod. Talk to me about the V8 spicy hot. I mean, I feel like you just gave me sauce. So thanks yeah. for that, right? Like, <laughs> I'm not sorry at all here. That's fantastic. All mm -hmm. right. So so now are you gonna are you gonna alter or change anything? I, I don't think so. I think like I, I I mean alter or change means I'm gonna have a sauce, right? Then it's not gonna be a monster sauce. No, that was mine. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. No, excuse me. All right. Chef Kells, yeah. talk to me about what you got going on in your pan. <clears throat> um, got a steak cooking. Then I'm going to deglaze the pan afterwards, um, which I am still jealous of the cast iron because that would be even better. <coughs> yeah. But yeah. I think it'll still be good. I'll pour uh, red wine vinegar and beer in it to deglaze it and then put a sauce on it. That'll be the sauce. It sounds delicious. What are you doing with the bacon? I'm just making some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was thinking about put bacon on the side. You know, nobody, nobody ate that. There you go. All right, Ted's back. <clears throat> Ooh, we back again. Now, here's the thing. This one was supposed. The shredded coconut was also supposed to come with a. Uh, Large nonstick skillet. However, we've run out of skillets in the studio. Uh, you, we could maybe use that one over there or something. But we're pretty much out of. Is that even a skillet? We're out of skillets. So, chef, 
Yeah. These four ingredients here, the Hello Panda, you've got the, in the middle one here, it looks like the tonic water should be forced on them. Or the shredded coconut, which one do you think is going to be the worst? I think shredded coconut is pretty unkind. Shredded oh, coconut. Or, or Hello, like what even is a Hello Panda? Hello Panda. Oh, oh, these are delicious. Yeah, yeah, these are really good. Yeah, so if it's really good, then I don't want to force that on her. <laughs> All right, so squad. Oh, that's what they did, though. So... Here you are. Here are your ingredients. You get the uh, tortillas as well as Worcestershire sauce. Oh, oh no, Worcestershire sauce and steak. That's amazing. <laughs> and there's your Hello Panda cookies, which oh. you must use in this Ow. dish. Uh, Hello Panda cookies. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please don't burn yourself. Uh, I, don't I know mean, why. it's bacon. There's the no... oil is popping. Uh, Chef Kells, talk to me. <clears throat> Let me pull a Ted here and open this up. Maybe eat one. I'm not gonna. Um, Give me one. No, I'm not going to eat them. I'm not going to give them to you. What is your plan? I'm show the folks at home uh, that may not know what a Hello Panda is. What is your gonna, what's your plan going to be with these oh. Hello Panda cookies? Because they, they have chocolate inside. Yeah, they do. I mean, I can only, I'll crush one up and put it in it. And then put it on the side of the dessert. And put it on the side as a dessert. You can throw on the plate of dessert. But uh, I know is, I, ha I should incorporate it, so I will do this that. This is what they look like right there. And you take a bite. And there's chocolate Gross. on the inside like that. So... Uh, the Chaton are saying these steaks look good. Um, mm -hmm. Chef Sarah, talk to me. Yeah. Uh, you just got Worcestershire sauce, not eating tortillas. I don't know if you're going to be able to use those or not. Uh, the, what do you do with the spicy tomato sauce? Uh, so I've got the, my spicy <clears throat> tomato sauce uh, reducing over here with a Rick. little bit of um, gin. I think maybe we're going to toss uh, some of my rosemary in here. Did you, have, did you use the whole can? Um, and is that heat turned way up? Because we saw what happened to Velveeta earlier. Yeah, it, it is turned way up. But you know what? On this... I think it's turned way up. To be honest with you, I can't tell where the arrow is. I will, you know what? I'll check in just a second. Yeah, like, but we want this thing this thing cranked. So, okay, you know, help me out here. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll get Ted back over here to give some more ingredients while I go and help you out with here. I'm walking on pickle juice. Yeah, you are. Threw in those shoes. Oh, All right. Okay, the arrows, yeah, it's turned way up. Now, <clears throat> Green Squad chef, Kells, huh? we've got three <laughs> we've got three sabotages over here. We've got Nuke It, Deserted. And piratized. For them? Yep. I don't know what deserted means. Piratized. You like piratized? Piratized like is always that. a super good one. The one that they voted on was number one, nuke it, so you get a head of garlic here. And oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I believe it's 30 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds. Chef Kells, you get to take uh, <laughs> Chef Sarah's ingredients and throw them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Oh. 30 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds is, is okay. That's so you go ahead and grab the featured ingredient there. Oh. Then... Or you feel free. It's just oh, it's, tomatoes. Oh, it's anything. It can be anything. All right, you want to take it back? Tomatoes more. Well, um, what am I doing? As long as it's connected, you can you take... You can, you can take... take any ingredient that I have and microwave it. Microwave the gin. The, so oh, she's yes. got... got so it. Chef Sarah, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's be honest. What do you got going on here? She's always just taking the beans. Microwave the beans for 30 seconds. All, All right. right. There. May you microwave? Hey, okay. uh, this is plates microwavable, right? I think it's still yeah, We're about to find out. Yep, yeah, microwave and dishwasher yeah, safe. That's good TV right there when you just find out. Yeah. Don't be afraid. We got the cover that I'm using. 30 seconds. Oh, no, that was three minutes. That's, hang on, that's incorrect. Oh, pause. Oh. Jeez, what are you using, using microwave? There? Uh, there we go, timer. Three, zero. That's going to do anything. I don't know how to use this microwave. Hang on. <laughs> oh, add 30 seconds. There we go. And we'll add 30 ah. seconds. Boom. We figured it out. With no help from production whatsoever. I just, I could have done the steak, but I don't yeah, want to ruin it. Good steak. <laughs> Here you go. We're all on the same team steak-wise. <laughs> we're all, yeah, we're right? all on the same team steak-wise. But there's a new set. Ted, come help. Come save me. I'm here. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, baby boy. Thanks. I need help. Daddy, help me. All right, here's what we got available to us. Why does it smell like vinegar over here? I don't because know. Because I'm doing the balsamic. Ah, uh, it smells because, good. Because she's doing here. shots of gin. So here's the... Uh, Not yet. <laughs> here's the sabotage we have available oh. to you. Patriot Minimize Utensil or Power Outage for five minutes. I, so I've been in the power outage situation, and I know that's super tough. Right. So I would vote for that. Okay. You know, I mean, if it's for her, not for me. All right, right? Green yeah. Squad or Purple Squad voted for sabotage number two. That oh, they voted for piratize apparently, which was on the last one. All right, well, it was on this one. So piratize is what it is. None of the options above that I listed. Great. 
<laughs> so <laughs> Kells is now piratized. There was your microwave. What do I have to say? Piratized. I don't know. Let's see what ended up happening here. It's, so it's, piratized. Oh, You're going to be a pirate for five minutes. Oh. Chef Kells, welcome to the Pirate Squad. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I actually don't know which ingredients those go with. That's all right. We're going to grab these. Uh, fennel seeds, seeds and flour. flour. There you go. All right. Zoe, come bring us. All right, that's fine. Here's some. I'll go grab them. We got them. Here, we'll grab them. We got them. We'll, get, we'll go get these. All right, Chef Kells, welcome to the welcome to the squad. Welcome to the pirate squad there. So you got to put this eye patch on. You got to stop what you're doing. <clears throat> and that has to cover your eye. Yep. This sort of comes over, so... Well, I've always wanted a familiar. Oh, and this? Yep. Okay. There you go, for five minutes. I did an opposite eye to my hand. Nice. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on here? Uh, Chef Sarah, you're tasting some of your sauce. You're, you got a bunch of sauces cooking. I do. All right, talk to me. What's the plan? So, I mean, we'll see. I've got that um, that rice earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've got cooking in my um, rice cooker, which, to be honest, I'd forgotten I even had. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, now I'm, I'm feeling pretty grateful for it. Um, so I've got that going in the back. I'm thinking I'm going to put my spicy tomato sauce into yeah. that so that we'll have a sort of a spicy rosemary tomato Ooh, okay, yeah. rice yeah, base. Yeah. And then we'll have our uh, rosemary uh, steak here with the balsamic gloss. Great. So and that's the, that's steak, the grand plan. Steak resting is that your plan? Right yeah, now? that's exactly right now because we don't want that to be chewy. We don't want to be chewy. All right, no. you have about six, just under seven minutes left. Uh, let's go talk to these judges here. Uh, we're going to talk to the judges about. Oh, actually, you know, hang on. We're going to get the scoring categories first. We'll get the scoring categories, judges, and then we'll talk to you guys about all these force ingredients: the Hello Panda, the Spicy V8, uh, and the scoring categories. So you may notice that there are only two scoring categories uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. I was told by production beforehand that they accidentally printed them out and one was missing. Oh, great. So the That's one fine. that is missing, so here's the three scoring categories. Kels, these are uh, ones that your squad voted on were either hardcore, it was puts you to sleep, or first date. Huh, okay. Yep, yep, they're good. But they all Ooh. come along with the little things. Any of these ingredients looking good? Any, maybe you need more pans? <laughs> uh, I need an eye. She needs an eyeball. Help, help, That's help, not help, what help, they voted help. for. No, what do you need? This is heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, cast iron. Uh, yep. Cast iron, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah. first date is the scoring category there, Mike. All right, there you go. First you can announce that. Category. Where's this going? Just going back on the pan. Uh, put it on the front burner. Front burner. There we go. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Great. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right. First date is the scoring category. Thank you, Ted. We're gonna get the second scoring category in just a second here. Uh, whilst this is happening, while we're getting the second scoring category. Judges, let's talk about the uh, the forced ingredients here: the spicy V8 sauce and uh, the well, Hello oh, the right. Hello Panda. You got to use the Hello Panda. It, it is now deep within the, the <clears throat> steak. The Hello Panda is deep within Ooh. the steak. Wait, talk to me about your thoughts on these uh, these dishes here. I can't cut what? in this. I can't cut. That's so creative. Okay. Uh, is, it's, it's, it's not on. Uh oh. <laughs> We're ready. Because we moved it you way know, over there. Really Hang really on here. I'm yeah. also ready, and there's three, so yep. I'm gonna eat the third one, and nobody can stop me. <laughs> you deserve it. It's my girls. creation. You I deserve it. it. Into this world. You get it. <laughs> okay, everything's everything's gone down. All right, here comes Ted coming back here with a new score category. Ellen Star says that is a big cast iron. Yes, it is, and it gets very hot. All right, here we go. We've got more ingredients and more scoring categories that the squads have voted on. You got three. That's uh, Purple Squad has voted on for it's either four seven year old, presentation, or makes it two. <laughs> really it makes you toot? No, that is the last one. I didn't make that up. I know that's a joke that I would make up, but <laughs> that is a mix, actually make you toot. And guess which one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Purple Squad has voted guess. on. Let me guess. Makes you toot. That is correct. How makes do you know? You, uh, you know, because I know I know our squads. All right. You got a banana and some breadcrumbs. Uh, makes you toot. I feel. Like you actually might have an advantage over here, Purple Squad, because you yeah. got beans, beans, the magical fruit. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's just a shoe in right there. That's just a shoe in right there. Uh, Kells, what are you going to do to make the judges toot? I mean, bacon makes you toot. Bacon makes you toot, judges. <laughs> judges. I feel like you're reaching uh -oh. there. <laughs> judges, let's talk about. I'm this. a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pirate on the Ninja Squad. I love that. Judges, first date. 
and it makes you toot. It makes you toot on the first date. I don't want any of those things to happen together. <laughs> you don't want those to happen together. It's Especially on a first date. Um, yeah. Um, That's every girl's like worst nightmare. <laughs> no. My God. I, I've not had that happen on a first date, thankfully. Uh, but it also could be like a woohoo, toot toot. You know, honey. Oh, yeah, like a toot toot, toot, like, toot, toot. Like, when, like when Ted comes in with, the, with his little trolley train. It's toot toot ingredients. Yeah. Right? So it makes you toot that way. They meant when they toot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <That's what laughs> All right. Uh, what about these sabotage? These forced ingredients here: the V8 sauce and the uh, the Hello Pandas. I want to eat those Hello Pandas. You just want the Hello Pandas just on its mm. own. <laughs> Have you ever seen those commercials for Hello Panda? They're adorable. They're okay. <laughs> Do you not think so? Well, there, there's two. One of them is super cute. There was an older one about 10 years ago where a panda would go in a grocery store. If you said, okay, I don't want Hello Panda cheese or, or cookies, he would destroy the whole aisle. And it was just this creepy song in the background. It was my favorite song. That just sounds amazing. It was well, amazing. Sounds... Great. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, here comes Toot Toot Ted coming back. I'm here. All right, chef, so you have about two minutes left, two minutes and 45 hey, seconds left. Can we get plates? All uh, right. After 10 minutes. Okay. So here, <laughs> nope, never moving. So here are the ingredients that you have available to you, Kels. There's some ginger in there. There's some wasabi. What would you like here? Tabasco, um, maybe? I'm kind of done. <laughs> kind of done. All right, here you go. Here's your Tabasco <laughs> and oregano and a pot. Oh, oregano. Kels, you're done being a pirate. Is she? Uh, <laughs> yeah, where'd your hook go? No, I mean, you're done being a pirate, but uh, judges. Oh, no. That was I was cool. using that hook for quite a while. I used to uh -huh. all that garlic. Uh -huh. I was just saying. The, uh, the Chitons says, who among us hasn't eaten fried beans with a spicy hot sauce on the first date? Truly, who? <laughs> uh, all right. Great. Here are Great. your plates. <laughs> right there. And Chef Cows, I've got some plates for you. Those are my glasses. <laughs> Here are some plates for you. I'm going to move these. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's all, it's all that's left. Under two minutes left, chefs. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on here? You've got a nice, ooh, you got a nice glaze going on over there. That, yeah. Should we move some stuff out of the way? Oh, my gosh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, here, let's let's move this out of the way. Yeah. Do you need this stuff anymore? Just, no. I, I will help you with what I can while still maintaining neutrality. All right. There. <laughs> Normally, when a squad wins, they receive either uh, this, this this spatula or a ladle. However, in the off chance that a squad defeats the other squad by 20 or more points, 30 or more points, we put this sucker up. This is the hammer. This hammer counts as two wins. Yeah. Currently, Corporal Squad is up by 32 points. There's a possibility that the Pirate Squad may have the first uh, hammer of the season. 32, uh, did I say 32? I meant 52 points. That's an even bigger. So if they do it by 60, do we get two hammers? Is that the plan? Is the purpose? They said, yeah, they get two hammers if it's if it's done by 60. So <laughs> there might be a, you might have a, you might, you might, you might not only have your redemption, but have like a quadruple redemption. I, I would feel really good about that. You feel really good about that. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, plating needs to happen right now, chef. Okay, great. Uh, and chefs, just as a surprise, because what else are we going to be doing this time around? You're going to take your dishes yourselves to the judges this time. You have, that's right. Uh, so you're going to be able to present your dishes to yourselves. You have five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, done. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that, done. All right, take your two best plates over to the judges. Does anyone like rare? I, yeah, I, I guess. Go ahead, walk them over, and uh, right. off to the side. Wait, hang on, Kel's off to the side. There you go, perfect. And then Chef Sarah right behind her, perfect. All right, and go ahead and present your dishes. Go ahead and tell them what it is. Okay, so it's um, tri-tip steak uh, with... It smells amazing. <laughs> with um, bacon and a brown sauce. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And then come on over here. And Chef Sarah, go ahead and scooch on in there. All right. So we have uh, got... Uh, so where do you want it? Right there. Right there. Don't worry. So we have got a, a first date steak that makes you toot um, with a, a... So it is a rosemary, um, a, a rare rosemary steak mm. um, with a spicy tomato 
bean uh, side for you. Mm -hmm. Saucy. Yeah, Saucy. baby. <laughs> well, let's dig in, baby. Yeah, dink it. Yeah, dink it. Yeah, dink it. Yeah, love it. Dink it. All right. Dink it. That's, yeah, just dig in, dig in. We'll get you guys this going. While that's happening, we're gonna take a short break. We're gonna set the stuff up and we're gonna come back with Squad Says Show. We're gonna talk to the chefs about that last dish and then we're gonna get the final scores and determine a winner of our final Friday midday show of Squad Says Serve. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the winner of Squad Says Serve. All right, we're back, everybody. I feel so lopsided. I was expecting you to come out. Is, is that no. not? No. All right, oh. great. I should just find a new place to sit then. This is the rest of Squad Says Served. Uh, and we're going to talk to our chefs about these. Right, Kevin just good. went, go. Yeah, I mean, well, you gotta, we got to balance it out. We hadn't actually gotten this far in our show plan yet. I know we didn't. <laughs> we were too busy focusing on the other stuff. Uh, this is Squad Says Served. Welcome back, Ted. Hey, how's it going? It's good. Let's talk to the chefs about these dishes. Uh, let's talk about this last dish, this final dish, the steak dish, which uh, the chefs... It looks like there's still clean plates over there. Uh, the judges, look at that. Yeah, they are. I'm working. <laughs> it's not a clean uh, Yeah, uh, and before we do that, we just want to remind everyone that the, uh, right now, if you donate bits and you hashtag charity at the end of that donation, uh, a portion of that goes to benefit, uh, goes to fund St. Jude Research. St. Jude has their, uh, their gaming event called Play Live. You play board games, video games, and then all the money raised goes to St. Jude's Research, which is a hospital that is doing uh, the fighting the good fight for cancer in children. So make sure if you guys are donating, uh, donating those bits use hashtag charity and then it'll all go to st jude research to help fund them uh because you know cancer sucks let's help beat it the only by playing video games you can't really go wrong by playing video games trying to beat cancer nope. i think so yeah kelly's you're eating your dish yeah did you try did you have you guys tasted each other's steak dishes we haven't why don't you guys move in <laughs> move in why don't you share well, want to move a little in? bit of that do it yeah do yeah, it let's wear yeah, the knife i okay. might still have a knife <laughs> you might still have a knife all right great uh let's talk about these final dishes the the trials and tribulations the challenges that you were facing when you were doing this last dish the uh the this gin soaked <laughs> dream of yours <laughs> I think actually in the end, the only thing that was gin soaked was me. It was you? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So talk to me about this. You were, it's looking really good. I'm going to grab a bite of that right now in just a second. So talk to me. What were some of the uh, some of the things in this dish that you had uh, troubles with or what worked out in your favor? You know, the toughest thing in this round was actually <clears throat> timing because uh, we had gotten a lot of things um, in terms of flavors from earlier on. So that, that was helpful. Um, but it was just thinking about, like, in the hubbub of everything, yeah. like, exactly, like, how long is that steak going to be on the grill? How long am I going to have to have it rest? Right. And sort of getting getting all of that right. I'm going to steal this piece right here. Kel's just trying to steal some steak right. over there. Yeah. Uh, I Kel's recommend with your beans. Oh, yeah, that's a nice trade. Mm -hmm. I definitely want a piece of that as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me also say I ate the oysters, the canned oysters. Uh-huh. Pretty good. Give you a... Well, they're really good. I'm not a fan of the oysters. They're tasty. <laughs> I, I don't know why you're not a fan. They're real good. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Cal, talk to us about. So <laughs> Cal, talk to us about your dish uh, and what you did. Because you got a nice, you had a ton of stuff. You said you had all the stuff to make the steak as if you would at home. Talk to us about your plans uh, when you made that steak. Yeah, I um, I eat steak at home a lot because I used to live in Minnesota. And when I was in college, the cheapest thing you could get was just like a thing of <laughs> like a steak. Because wow. it would be like $2. And so I'd go and get a $2 steak and then I'd just sear it on both sides and then eat it. Um, so that's what I did in college. <laughs> and macaroni and ramen. But um, yeah, so I've been making steak for a while and I really like it. I like steak. Did you find yourself struggling for anything when you were trying to make this steak? No, I think I literally had, because I had, I had garlic and onion and a steak. And I had an alcohol to deglaze the pan with afterwards to make a sauce. I had I had an onion um, an onion uh, powdered onion yeah. dip yeah, yeah. thing, which worked too. I like literally I had everything that I usually use at home. Awesome. Yeah, and then so, uh, spices and I I marinated the steak in sesame oil and a bunch of the spices and the beer. Nice. All right. Well, let's get the judges over here, and we'll get the judges to come on over and give us their thoughts. Uh, have you guys turned your, turned your scorecards in yet? Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. <laughs> All right. Just making sure. Well, come on. Come on over. You can. You can. There you go. Okay. 
You both have the same plan. I know. They're, they're like the run. We don't know how to humor. Our very, oh, our very it's, festive. It's the extra space for the cat. Oh, that's right. It's the fest, our it's festive. It's a nice, freshly oiled table. Yes. The wood. Ooh. I know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Our special Ooh. gift to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, judges, hi, welcome. Hi. Welcome to this side of the table. Uh, talk to us about these, these final dishes. Mm. We ended on a great note. We ended on a <laughs> Wow. No, we went <laughs> all day for those steaks, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, uh, your steak, my dear, was very juicy, very succulent, very flavorful. Oh, my God. If I was on a date, you know, um, it's always important when you're on a date um, to... Uh, toot. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's before that. You've got a great wife. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, talk about your interests, you know? And uh, for me, that would be uh, talking about bacon. Bacon's my favorite. So incorporating that again, great choice. What I loved about yours was, of course, the tooting portion. It did make me um, think about that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, no. Uh, uh -huh. and I love we're all grateful. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I'm on a roll today. Uh, again, love you, Mom. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and I loved how rare yours was. Yeah. Angelina. Perfectly cooked. Definitely my favorite dish of all the rounds. We had five rounds or four rounds? Five, five rounds. Five rounds. Five rounds. <gasps> wow. Yeah, a lot of rounds today. It's been a whirlwind. <laughs> it ha yes, it has. <laughs> you know, you guys both did your best with what you were given. Today's mm -hmm. challenges were really tough. Really tough. And the ingredients were complicated like I kept thinking like what would I do if I had you know what you guys were given as forced or required ingredients or just what you had on your table it was really difficult so bravo let's talk about mm -hmm. this uh, let's talk about the steak let's talk about uh, the steak this specifically this final dish there the steaks what did you what did you enjoy what did you maybe not enjoy I was really looking forward to the sauce and I think that just for me personally I do not think I will cook with beer as an experiment <laughs> ever again. It's hard. It's really, it's really hard. hard. Yeah. I think yeah. with slow cookers, if you put it in like Guinness in a stew, but Guinness has a very specific flavor. Yep. Mm -hmm. IPAs, that flavor is hard to cook out. It was a good flavor. I did like it, but for me personally, I don't like the beer taste. So. And Ted and I have talked about this on the show. Sorry to interrupt, Katie. I know you're about to say something. But with beer, it, uh, you either have to use a very small amount to add a hint of flavor. Right. Because if you try to add a ton right at the end or try to get it married, then that's all you're going to taste is the beer. You have to get it a lot earlier. Yeah. Uh, as well. It seems like when it's always super late in the voting rounds yep. and then they immediately, they're all beer and then they throw it in and then it just tastes like beer. It doesn't have the time to cook off. Katie, you're about to say something. Oh, yeah, it was just exactly the same thing, especially with um, Pop Rock, sorry. Uh, I just had to take one. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. uh, but with an IPA, um, it's so hard because of the hops, because they're so overpowering, mm -hmm. and so that's probably what we're tasting in the sauce is just the pure hops because it kind of punches you in the face when you drink it, and so. When you loved it. You I loved it. loved it. I cannot get enough hops in my... Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me. Uh, I, I totally hate beer, so... <laughs> Well, all right, let's get our judge, our chefs uh, the, right here. And you guys can stand right here in the center. Actually, no, it's, it's, it's just me. Too. Is it us? Yeah, yeah. Come on, one on either side here, right here. All right. And we're going to wait and hear the final scores. We're going to get this tabulated and crown a winner of the final Friday midday show. The squad says serve. All right, looks like we have the purple score of 217 to 179 degree squad, purple squad, congratulations, you have won. You've won definitely more than 30 points. You get to go, you get the hammer. You get the hammer, congratulations. Right. You have the hammer for the dual win. Uh, we will be, we're gonna take a quick break, like 20 seconds, we're gonna come back with squad says chill, we'll talk to everyone. This will be your chance in the chat to ask questions of the judges, ask questions of the chefs about what just happened. Uh, we'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Oh, oh no! Uh -oh. Oh, the Are pickles! Okay? The pickles! Oh, no. Don't okay. move! Don't move! Don't move! Can I get out of here? Wait. Okay. Be okay. right back. Okay. okay. Why I specifically put them as far away out of the way as possible? There. Don't. So leave that as. Okay. Is. okay. Well, I'm, I've got to throw it away now. It's in my hands. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I love that it was just the pickles. <laughs> We've had a lot of smashes today. Well, there was the one with the pickles, and those just all, those fell off the side of it as I stopped the thing. So that was fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to Squad Says Chill. I, uh, I am your host, the Microblast. 
Over there is uh, Ted. Ted's friends. Hey, friends it's me. Ted. I'm no longer no longer host. I know. It's, I'm not going to be used to it. <laughs> no, I know it's hard. It. It's going to wait until Tuesday. You don't even have me out here. I'm not going to even have you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be here. I'll, I'll I'll talk to you in chat on Perfect. Tuesday. From, you can talk to me the, in chat. We'll banter that way from the house. Uh, <laughs> we had a spillage. Uh, we're taking care of of everything. Uh, sh- everything will be fine. Uh, <laughs> welcome. This is the after show for Squad Says Served, uh, where we just had five rounds of chefs' hardcore cooking. You guys worked your butts off, chef. And Purple Squad, you're victorious, mm. the, the heart, and very victorious. Uh, for those of you that may be just joining us, let's go ahead and introduce yourselves. Uh, we'll start in the end. You just took a sip of water. We'll start off way over there with the sweet ass hat. <laughs> Okay, my name is Angelina. I work for a game studio called Exoto Games. We're making a very exciting new narrative game called Elo Hell. I get these sweet jerseys as a perk for working there. <laughs> Just kidding, there are other perks. Um, so <laughs> the, the narrative game is about what it's like to go pro in today's esports industry. So you're playing the game as a high school kid who's taking steps and like realizing what it takes to go pro while grinding the meta game, which is kind of like a deconstructed StarCraft in the game. Ooh. Um, I'm Kels. Um, I'm, uh, I lead a studio called Cat Bean Games, and we're making a game, Calico, about uh, magical girls running cat cafes. Can I just say how much I love the name of that game? By yeah. the way, I think that's pretty darn <laughs> We cool. took a long time on it. It used to be called Magic Cat Fay, but people couldn't like read and like pronounce it immediately. Yeah, I remember, I remember yeah. that. When Magic it was first. Cats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Magic Cat Feet. Magic Cat Feet? Food cat Food? Magic Cat Food? Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So my name is Sarah. Uh, I am a communications manager by day, and by night I write about food, invent my own recipes that you can find up on in lieu of cordonbleu.com or up on Instagram by the same name. Uh, I am just fascinated by learning about uh, from other chefs and the techniques that they use, and so that's uh, what you can find up on my website. Great. Uh, and and mm. off being mended is uh, is is Katie mm-hmm. is Katie. She's a cosplayer. She's Princess mm-hmm. Anna uh, for for parties. You can rent her for a party. No, she is Princess. She Anna. is no no no. Anna. She is a friend of. She is a friend of Princess Anna. I don't think they're legally allowed to she's say. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah yeah, yeah no. no she's called, a friend of. She's a friend of. But, uh, mm-hmm. She's a friend of Princess Anna. Uh, she's a cosplayer. She's on Twitch. Kate Allen six. I, don't, I look at you. You're her friend. You're her best friend. Yes, Kay Dowling. Introduce, introduce Katie. Twitch. <laughs> yes. And she's also a master beer maker. She makes all her own beer from scratch. You know a lot of people who make beer. That's true. That's you true. do. You no, know, you like you. You like anytime I've been over at your place, that one of your friends makes beer. Yeah. That's uh, just a happy accident. So lucky. That so was blessed. not, a, and that was not a happy accident. <laughs> Too, soon. Too, Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm worried. Not even out yet. I know. That's what worries That's me. That's concerning. That's concerning. Everything's mm. fine. She's being looked after by trained professionals. We have our top men looking after her. Perfect. <laughs> top men. Uh, as soon as we get the chat up here, we'll be able to talk to you guys questions and see what's going on. And, uh, send and you guys your well questions. wishes and healing vibes. Yes, yeah, send yes. all the healing vibes. Uh, let's talk about, uh, we're going to talk about the show in a second, Kells. You're making some emotes for us. Yes. <gasps> How are those coming? Well, now you've, you've changed the show. Uh, it's true. <laughs> so, like, uh, there's only a few of them that would be changed. Oh, it's it was just two. It's going to be your, your intense. Oh, no, our faces. faces. Our faces aren't going to be emotes Oh, yeah, anymore. that's right. Oh. We're not going to have the Ted and Mikey Dude, mode anymore. Out. That's a bummer. I mean, I feel like you should have those for your personal use. I, can't, I have. I already have emotes of my face, a cartoony face of myself <laughs> on my channel, and Ted has like handsome pictures of himself. Yeah. Uh, but how are the other ones? Though? Panini. We had Panini Press. What are the aprons? Are still? Yes, Panini Press aprons, uh, the green apron and the purple apron. As long as those are still the colors. Those yeah. are still the colors. <laughs> they are for now. We'll wait yeah. till you come back and say these are the wrong colors. Those coming along. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, there's an interesting thing with that and also making Twitter avatars oh, yeah. where it has to have detail, but you have to know what it is from like really far yeah. away. So it's yeah. like it's not even like 8-bit art. It's like you literally, you have to be like, okay, Kelsey, don't work on it zoomed in. It has that amount yeah. of pixels, but you can't work on it, yeah. work on it that zoomed in. 
Uh, the Shaitan says, train professionals, trained to do what? And so you're saying, Kevin, <laughs> she could be in trouble. Well, Kevin maybe has acted as a medical professional <laughs> yeah. at one point. Yeah, Kevin's an actor. I'm sure he's acted as, a, as an EMT before. As far as we know, the things that Kevin has acted in is like Lifetime, Hallmark, Hallmark show. He, was, Hallmark uh, he was in a, I, not, a Z Nation. Oh, that's right. He was in Z Nation. Echo's first day. Echo, then why are you back there? <laughs> Echo's like, I'm first A-trained. Echo, get in the bathroom and help. Get out of there. Uh, Katie will be fine. <laughs> we had a beer incident. We had a beer incident. We did have a beer incident. It's the wrong kind of beer incident. Oh, I see the gin is coming back. <laughs> this is what we need. Yeah, she puts it right in front of you. She's saying, have another shot. <laughs> have another shot. Perfect. There we go. I love that yeah. Echo brought that for us. Bye. Yeah. Uh, Why did that? How did that end up back there in the first place? At what yeah, point I, did that I, disappear? So I wondered the same thing as I was like <laughs> cooking my final round. I was looking around for the gin and it was gone. Oh my <laughs> god. <Sabotaged. laughs> uh, oh, I can't Somebody see what that is. Black name. Somebody would have said, yeah. that. They gifted a sub though. Oh, that might be the uh, the Elvin Elvin Stud, Elvin Stride, Elvin Stud Muffin. Uh, who was uh, Kevin was in Z Nation. He's the one that you'll see him come eat and stuff in a what second. What color is that username? It's it's black. Oh, never mind. Oh, dark got, blue, dark green, got, uh, the very big dark bottle, green. There you go. The big bottle of disinfectant. Chat. Right. If you guys have questions, actually, chat. Uh, for those of you, uh, you know, the Shaitan, you've been here a while. McSwinger, you've been here a while. Other than the obvious issues. Talk to us about the new format of the show. Five dishes, five smaller dishes, uh, different hosts. Uh, talk to us about about that stuff and, and your lives and, and how things are happening. Uh, don't worry, Angelina's fine. Uh, oh my God, go it's Says, uh, who is everyone on stream today? Did you miss our intros? We had all the intros. Uh, do they all have their own Twitch channels? Uh, yes, as in fact, a matter of fact, we do. Uh, I am the Mike Robles on Twitch. You're not on Twitch. I'm not. Okay. Kels is on. Are you on Twitch, Kels? Something I am. Else? I mean, I have it about you. You have a Twitch. I'm right. asking about I've been, you. I've been wondering. I really want to make a clothing try on channel. Though. Just I guess come I'm back not. out with a brave face uh, and laugh it off. And, uh, and Ted's on Twitter. Oh. Hi. Everyone. Me, Ted's friends. <laughs> Ted's friends. <laughs> you're, you're, and then you're friends of friends on Twitter. I don't yeah. remember which one it is. Friends of Ted okay, on Twitter. Okay, but you're always enemy, so you should be called enemy of Ted. Oh, but we're friends, Kels. Uh, so what? there we go. Uh, we also have, uh, we'll have we have a is, is the bot on? Or we have a bot in there. The bot is currently not on right now. Great. <laughs> we but. had a bot that would usually give stuff. Yeah. Uh, that was. Um, there comes Angelina. Angel. Uh oh, that's a blood-stained sweater. Uh, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Jesus. I was like, like wow. Okay. What <laughs> <soaking?"> <laughs> it's soaking. Too soon. Yeah. She's fine. It's oh, too good. soon. Correct. Everyone says too soon. It's still happening. <laughs> it's still happening. <laughs> Until we know I try <laughs> so, Don't do that. The Shaitan oh. says they do miss the two hosts together. Oh. Right. Mm. We, we all did. We, so we all did. We all did. The biggest change for that, the Shaitan, and I can speak to this, uh, is the community as, as a whole, while they glommed on to Squad Ted, Squad Mike, um, we realized was being a little bit, uh, it didn't, uh, not as much maybe as we wanted it to. So we're going the route of the traditional cooking show where we're still going to keep all the wackiness, but we're going to have the neutral host that's there. Um, and, and I think as the show goes on, that'll become less and less because there was definitely times where I was like, oh, I would love to talk to Ted. Oh, he's not here. Because we're just, we got there it. There were times where you were talking off camera yeah, to me I, as standing well, over there. I'm just the like, what do you want? We got you, because we got used to that rhythm. We did. We got used to a rhythm, and so that rhythm had to change. As the time goes on, uh, I think, because, I mean, like I said, I won't even be here on Tuesday for you to riff off me. Yeah. Like, so I'm curious to see how that's going to go. I think it's um, going to be okay. I, I'm somebody oh, who, you're better at it than I am. No, I mean, uh, I know. I, I'm used to my Twitch stream, which is literally just me and, you know, responding yeah. off of things that are happening. So I think I'm used to that. Yeah. But, like, I do, I can't imagine that I'm going to turn be like, where's Mike? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. wait, wait oh, a minute. Sure. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be watching for that glance. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> You'll just see it. Just a slow, like... Uh, McSwinger <laughs> wants to talk to the chefs about the changes. Since you both have cooked before, uh, you luckily have only cooked once before. Is that, um, why is that luckily? I don't uh, know. Well, yeah, <laughs> it, it, was, it was craziness. But what did you guys think of the changes to today's show? Um, oh, that's hard to say, actually. I think... Mm, I, 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 just, I think I need more time to think about it because uh, there's like plus and minuses, but I don't even know what those are. There was, I mean, and there was a lot of changes that were implemented today, right? There's a lot <laughs> really of Really difficult. It was, it was a much more difficult. And again, this is sort of, it kind of reminds me back when we first started. We're like, oh, what's happening now? Oh, okay, right. this is happening now. But I think once we fall into that rhythm, 
uh, you know, that's that's what happens. I will it's also a lot more demanding, like, to, to, I mean, just the sheer fact of yeah. cooking five rounds. It's like you're on your feet a lot longer. You're yeah. cooking quite a bit right. more. Um, so it's just, it's actually a little bit more physically demanding. The gin probably didn't help that too much. We are um, buying uh, some mats for the chefs to stand on. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, so that'll be the probably. Ooh, they'll be here thing. Sunday, so you're, oh, I mean. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so I think it, it was more demanding, but it also, because you had more rounds to go through, you had more ingredients. So by the time that you got to the end, like you had a dish that you had formulated over the course of time. Yeah. Um, so it felt like a little bit, maybe more satisfying to get to something, um, you know, like that, that you really thought was going to be tasty by yeah. the time that you were done. Yeah. So McSwingers, from the audience point of view, the demanding was great for them because <laughs> it made for good TV. And I like, I will agree with that. Like that, I think... They were all good rounds, but I think like the egg roll round, like I was legit worried, right? And I think everyone was like, wow, what's we going to happen? Just watching you right. struggle with a puzzle to the point where it's like, all right, you can't not, you're like, you can't serve. Like we have to yeah. go change that, I think was uh, one of the reasons I just was like, all right, take the penalty. Sure. Um, I actually, I didn't notice much the time increase. I think, I think it's more that there were more dishes. Yeah. Um, so maybe at like four dishes, but the same amount of time. I, except when I bent down to do the puzzle and realized my legs <laughs> so you'd had been, been like standing. walking sure. a little bit. Um, yeah. I personally really like the ingredient, like the limited ingredients, like not having a ton. Because you were like, I don't have any. I'm running out of margarine. I have to use my butter. I have to use my bacon, or I don't have a lot of salt. You know, how, what did you guys think of that? Because I pr I like that a lot. That one's, it's hard to tell from one thing because you can never tell if it's like, is it the format or is it how the voting went that time? Yeah, sure. Because I think I had, I had a lot of really good ingredients, but there were those core things that I might have been missing. Um, and it was the same with you of like, by the end you were, there was a core thing you were missing. Yeah. So, um, I think, I think I'd have to try it a couple more times to figure it out. It's a good thing we'll have you back then a couple more times. <laughs> it was. Mostly I've never cooked so much with bacon fat before. <laughs> like, you know, it's like it's supposed to like, oh, get a little oil or a little butter into the pan. It's like, get a little bacon into the pan. I and have definitely know. cooked that much with bacon <laughs> fat. <laughs> How did you feel, Mike, demand-wise, now that it's just you? Um, there were different times where I was struggling because there were times where I would try to, like, if I'm busy helping and sure. I know that the other chefs aren't talking, yeah, you know, like when I'm trying to get the plates, I'm trying to like still keep talking and keep entertaining while grind, trying to grab plates or looking for something. Right. Uh, MCAS Media, thanks for the one bit, says the floor hazard was a nice twist. Uh, it was until one of our folks slipped and fell and is being <laughs> tended to right now. Uh, judges. It's being given cookies. It's being, it's being given cookies great. right now, legitimately. Uh, oh, let's talk. The pan of cookies are you? She's back. Yeah, yeah. Please watch your step mm -hmm. this time. Did you want another um, beer? Well, yeah, do you want another beer? <laughs> so, uh, gin for us. Okay. so how are you? I'm great. Good. Hi. Good. Are you <laughs> good. Can you your hand? Yeah. Did you, did you, did you, yeah. Just, you know, it was all planned. Uh, yeah. That was. Uh, so wait. It's just. Did the beer shatter in your hand? <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Did you? You did you cut yourself? You did. Don't worry about it. Oh. About it. I'm going to read about that. Uh, Elvin Stud Muffin said he uh, they changed their uh, their color. Thank you, Elvin, St Elvin Stud Muffin. Ah, perfect. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. So, you know, uh, I got we so excited. Um, <laughs> you were so excited. You were so excited. Right? Right? Excited. You were so and excited. And I was and here's the thing. I was <laughs> counting down. And you got to remember, you don't have to be on camera for chill. You can slowly take your time. And you were so excited to come back on the show. No, there was a countdown. I got excited. No. <laughs> Mike, how could you? This uh, is yeah. all your fault. Oh. Yeah. Blame Mike. Blame Mike. Well, that's the thing. Is like, it's so much more demanding now, time-wise as well. Like every two and a half minutes going into this, I was like, wow, you know, there's not going to be that many. <laughs> I can't believe how little time. I had to go and grab ingredients behind yeah. the scenes, like I for th everything. And I be thought the same thing. So I thought, oh, pickle... I'm not going to see Ted that no, much. No, yeah, no. And so, like, when the pickles crashed or fell off initially, <laughs> I said to myself, "Shoot, it's going to be forever before I get back there and start yeah. and start." So I had to wait to the break, and which is why I swept everything into a corner over there, so we could actually get to it later and off camera. Frag Hatter, what is up? This spontaneous <laughs> glass explosion kills thousands per year. Uh, spontaneous. Yeah, so, so you could have been killed. I'm a so survivor. You're a survivor. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so I saw somebody do the charity. You got to do uh, hashtag charity. You got to do the, the you got to do the bits and then hashtag charity for the bits to count. We appreciate that. A reminder, guys, uh, if you're doing bits, you do uh, hashtag charity after the bits, and a portion of that will go to St. Jude's and their Play Live uh, fundraiser, so brave which, <laughs> uh, which is raising money to fight the fight against cancer for children. Uh, we should also so. start another charity for awareness of explosions. Yeah. Awareness, <laughs> awareness, spontaneous glass explosions. The pickle jar accident, the danger I of pickle jar. Did you get pickle juice in? It was a lot on the top of the head. Oh, no. I just saw it still. Yeah. Don't look at it. Don't look no, at it. No, I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm, I'm like that more curiosity. It's actually better than I thought. I, was, I, I oh, saw it. I was like, thank you. Cool. Just today, Just on Squad says raised 84000 There you go. No. Uh, 500 cherry. Thank you so much. Look at that. Uh, no, I'm the guy, and I told this story before, but I'm the guy that like I have to look. So like I'm going to be like, Take the bandit off, because yeah, we've told the story. My wife had a C-section, and they put this big. Don't uh, tell the story. No, I've I'm not gonna, story to I'm not gonna tell the story. Tell the story. They, they put this big thing up, and they tell you you can look if you want to. And all of my friends that are pregnant, I tell them you're gonna be tempted to look. Don't look. <laughs> Mike, I've just eaten so much. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell. I looked, and I. Did you hit this, the deck? Uh, no, but there are images that I cannot get out of my head, and I will tell you what those images are after we go off the air, because I looked, and that was a mistake. I tell my friends, you're going to want to look, don't look. Don't look. Whatever you do, don't look. Uh, Mick Swinger says, Ted, love your sassy approach today. What was my, what was sassy Just about today, my approach? Just today, he's always sassy. Thank you. True, it's nothing new. It's, it's part of the uniform. New. I what think you my... break more things. I think you broke, we broke two things no, we, this yeah. time. The most no, we broke, the no, we broke three things. We broke the pickle jar, the beer, and Katie. Oh. Like that. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> we love, she's never going to come back. Now yes. throw the Bombay oh, Sapphire really on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I'm incredibly impressed with yeah. myself that I haven't gotten Don't talk fatally injured yet. <laughs> Only mild burns for me. I'm oh, talking yeah, with poor Kate. Uh, what would you like from this table of options? Does your mom oh, see nice, you get hurt? Oh, they're saying, uh, oh yeah, is your mom still watching? I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. We were talking because she calls me her horrible daughter, and so nice. we just have that That's relationship. That's amazing. Do you have yeah. a rapport, what? Witty, witty banter with your mother? She's a very sassy lady, <laughs> you know. Um, she is my inspiration and my muse, and so uh, I love you, mother, and also hello again, sister. And uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I was say that's not oh, as you bad as I thought it was. Here too. Oh no! Oh, my, right there. Yeah, on, yeah. This, on the on this side, right here. Where? Right here. Right there. Yeah. Woo! Looks just like a that floor burn. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this is Tonson. I want to give Katie a massive hug right now. She goes, everyone go hug Katie. That's yeah. all I'm doing. Yeah. Group hug. I'm a group hugger. Ooh. We're a group hugger. I'm gonna step over this beard. Oh, we're gonna cry again. We're gonna step over. Come in. Get in here. All right. Hold on. Oh. Thanks, Ted. Make more bacon. Yeah, Ted is the one who does it. And we all got a big group thing. There we go. There we go. Thank you. She's healed. She's yeah. healed. Everyone. That's By the magic of television. Magic. Love yeah, and healed. Christmas saved us. Did you say Kevin, love? Why are you bringing the first aid kit out? Because we need it. Oh, because of the side? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to stand right here then. Is that a cut right. so much as it is a rug burn? Like, Stop it's looking at it. There's no rug burn. Anyways, uh, back up. Uh, I like that. Right. Right. Let's talk wait. about this amazing food. Angelina, uh, wait. Did yeah. you say love bring, and bring Christmas back. saved <laughs> Katie? <laughs> is that what you said? Because I'm wearing my Christmas hat. Yeah, that's hilarious. It's love and Love and Christmas is what saved you. That's <laughs> right. Have a meowy Christmas, everybody. Have a meowy That's Christmas. right. Uh, Katie, we haven't gotten to hear from you uh, about oh. the food. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk about food right now. Um, there's still some pop rocks left. By there the yeah. put those out. I asked, so I thought I would like the steak the most. I think I like the shrimp dishes the most. Really? really? Wow. I know that's yeah. really weird, but uh, yeah, especially uh, the one with the cherry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really a weird combo, but yeah, um, but then the real winner of today was bacon. Yeah, that's bacon. Oh, wait, no, what am I saying? I forgot about the hash browns, the cheesy hash browns. <laughs> it's okay, you just took a fall. You're, yeah, you're, you're, right. you're trying I'm to catch up. I'm just recollecting. Conceal, don't feel, don't let it go. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so that probably was my favorite dish, and I'm going to be making that tomorrow for breakfast. Maybe nice. with some eggs. Like, I'll buy some, I'll buy some, I'll buy some, I'll buy some Velveeta. Yeah. Oh, yes, I... Uh, Jalapeno Velveeta, baby. Mm, mm -hmm. All day, every day. Yep. Mr. Tom says, but Katie, what about the oysters? Ugh. 
you know, oysters do have an effect on me. Uh, <laughs> so wait, did, so you liked the first oyster dish, I but did. not the second oyster because dish? Because didn't you, I don't think you cooked the oysters. I did. You did. Okay, so interesting. Maybe it, it might have just been with something else. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Maybe. The, I think the oysters with this had just like basically lemon and cooked and then this the other one has like onion in it and stuff, no. and maybe that just didn't go as well. Maybe that could be it, actually. Um, I'm a big fan of lemon and uh, keeping it simple. I'm not a yeah. big fan of mm. onions, though. Or yeah. was that spider, uh, sold away? It looks but like dirty this? snow. Wait, yeah, hash brown, if you don't cook hash browns with butter, that's what you get. Yeah, they gain color by it. That happened to me last yeah. time, so I empathize with that. Yeah, with the challenge of Elvin's Strider says, I want to go cook food, but I also want to sit here and watch, and my phone's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it was nice having you while you were around. <laughs> um, I want to remind everyone that we're going to be back Tuesday night, the 18th at 7 p.m., the, the solo TED show. The TED show. Whoa, well, no, the TED Whoa. show. Who's cooking uh, the solo TED show? Uh, Echo is one of the cooks. I don't know who <gasps> oh, the other yeah. Echo is. Yeah. 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 Nice. yeah, yeah. And then, if I believe correctly, we're not back till 2019. Wow. After that, after Tuesday yeah. show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you only be... announced one of the cooks. Am I? Just when Echo's on there. I don't know who else is on there. Oh, okay. Well, that's because I don't know. Do you know? Echo's just like, what's up? I'm, I'm cooking that day. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll be back in 2019. <laughs> yeah, it's Echo versus Echo. It runs back and yeah. forth. It's, it's, it's actually, existential. It's cook cook yeah. TV, right? right. Ten dishes. Right. Ten dishes. <laughs> Uh, sec uh, unfortunately, Shaitan, yes, 7 p.m. is now going to be the new time slots. 4 a.m. your time. I'm sorry. Aww. No, we're going to lose our VIP at that point. No. But we're going to try something new. And also, starting uh, in 2019, on January 1st, uh, we will be doing 7 p.m. weekly. So Squad Says Serve will be moving to a weekly format uh, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, to get them prime time hours and those viewerships. Uh, it works out better for a lot of our a lot of our local folks because they want to come after work. And unfortunately, when we film and when we're live during the day, they can't skip work for it. So this is going to get, uh, hopefully, see some more variety and some more, uh, a lot more people showing up uh, on onto the show, uh, as well as viewership as a whole. Uh, but we're going to be really sorry. Maybe, you, can, you know, you can always watch the VOD, come in and mm -hmm. chat with us. No, wake um, up at 6 a.m. and watch the end. There you go. Aww. There you go. Uh, also, huge shout-outs, number one, to Angelina, who was not supposed to be here today. She wasn't even supposed to be here today. Wasn't even she, supposed to be I got, here I got today. the call. I got in my Nissan Sentra in 2004, <laughs> and I hit the highway. And she hit the highway. So thank you so much for coming in and and sim and making your best friend so, and submitting to your best friend on it's all okay, of this. You guys, and, I'm going to fix her. Don't worry. She's this is my promise to you. Yep. This yeah. is like not yeah. even my final of the year. We talked, we heard from Angelina about the new formats. You've judged once before. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the new format of the show? I like that there was more food. Um, I also, uh, I do miss the trivia portion though, and I miss someone else. Um, <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> um, but, sorry, I spilled no, pickle it, juice for your flip on. No, it's okay. It's okay. The pickles. Um, I've slipped on ice before, ice skating before, and oh, um, oh I'm, I'm, that's yeah, the worst. In costume too. Oh no! Oh, oh wow! You're on a can't cry. Oh, oh no! <laughs> It's okay. I feel like that would be in character. <laughs> Bye, Elvin Strider. Bye, Elvin. Bye. Ooh, do you watch Yuri on Ice? What? Oh, Yuri on Ice. Oh, oh, that. oh really your cute. mind's going to be it's blown. Really it's great. It's really it's good. Ice skating anime. Oh, see, I've only seen one anime. It's really good. Yuri yeah, yeah. too. It's I'm really excited. cool. Oh, yeah. We have a lot Going of time. The the, what, let's, okay, 10 all nighters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I also haven't <laughs> seen Harry Potter. That's oh, oh yeah. About. Right. Yeah. And so we're going to watch that. Um, yeah. yeah. And we still have to show Echo, or was it we're showing Echo or we're showing someone Madoka? Well, Maggie Madoka Madoka. I don't know what that is. It's, what? Wait, you don't know Neither what Maggie yeah. Madoka Madoka is? Nope. It's, a, it's the, like the best magical girl anime. I mean, it's okay. not Sailor Moon, but it's like the a Mike just okay. like... <laughs> I just like... You don't like the magical girl right anime, Mike? Right <laughs> no, I just love messing with, like messing with Kels. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a valid point. <laughs> You're all staying at mine. All right, we're all going to Echoes, apparently, to go watch magical girl anime and Harry Potter and Yuri on Ice and all that stuff. I can't believe you, Mike. Yeah, that's, I get that a lot. Ted's host now. That's fine. He is. He's, he's coming. He's hosting. I have not. I've watched a lot of anime, though. Um, McSwinger says, what's the shirt? That's my Jinx Slay Station shirt. Available at Jinx.com. Use code Robles to get a discount. And you can get my <laughs> sweater at The Gap. 
There you go. The children's gap. <laughs> Baby, baby gap. I have a baby cool gap. sweater on. I know, you got a really cool, you get the fully fully. Uh, I got nothing. Guys, talk to me. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm burnt out from hosting for two I had, hours. I had like, what's just tired. Chat? Your brain is just am. a. My brain is this tired. This is your brain right now. And, it's just this. And I have to host tonight. I got people coming over to play Smash Pets coming over. Yeah. Mm. Smash. You can hang out. Notice right? I wasn't invited. You can come down. No, you don't drive. <laughs> chat, you can come far. too. Yeah, chat, roll on no, up. No, Mike has been inviting me to things for about five years, and I've gone to about two of them. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true. She doesn't drive. That's don't everybody drive. in Seattle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's also true. Uh, um, oh, but I was gonna say, so with the you, you both were saying that you could taste the beer a lot in the in the steak dish, and I thought that was really interesting because I don't drink beer. Mm -hmm. So when I tasted it, I was like, this tastes exactly like brown sauce. Like no, no beer at all because mm -hmm. I don't drink a lot. Mm. It yeah. could have been the malt with it too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I think that's interesting because like if if there's something I eat a lot, I can taste that. If it's huh. like this much in something, I hate peanut butter because I'm terrible. I'm the devil. Yeah, you I hate are. Peanut butter. <gasps> so it's Ooh, <laughs> right. tension. Right. 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 Onions almost masked it. I like, feel if you had a little bit more just a little bit. That's yeah. That but, sounds like a plan. Next time you're I cooking, I can taste the littlest bit of peanuts in something. Yeah. Didn't you have, like last time I was here, you had a peanut butter? Uh, yeah, I didn't it. taste that. Oh. I just know what's good in peanut butter. <laughs> I know right. you make Craig Hatter says he wants to crush butter. us at, uh, at Smash. He's welcome. He's welcome. Yeah, to yeah, I can invite you. I don't know why Angelina says she got plans. So. <laughs> Isn't Frag Hatter yours? Yeah. yeah. So Is he yours? Yeah. Yeah. John and I were going to watch a movie tonight, but maybe. Not anymore. Uh, you just change the movie to another night. It'll yeah, exactly. Better. Yeah, unless you're going to the theater. Yeah. You guys should come over and play Smash. That's Look, I was going to spend time with my husband. I'm not now. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. It just means yeah, it's too late, John. Can we ask too what late. happened? Because I'm, gonna have time cause I'm I leave for LA. Oh, like, no. Frag Hatter said in general, we're no. going to smash some Smash. No. Oh. No. Is this a one time only often? Uh, actually, yeah, because I'm not. I'm leaving for LA. So no, I mean, after be, that. After that, it's New Year's, and there yeah, might not be there might a, a there might not be Smash. We got I, they're gonna be launching Elo, Elo Hell. Can It'll be busy. Play? Does X play Ooh. a little bit? Yeah, he'll be there tonight. Oh. You can you can come roll up, watch X, hang out. Does he know how to play Smash yet? Uh, no, but he knows how to turn the Xbox on and off. Wow. And he'll, grab, he'll grab the controller and start to like find. He'll he goes and tries to find movies to watch. You know who else knows how to do oh, that? Yeah. My cat. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you're my kid is as smart as your cat? <laughs> no, your kid is definitely smarter than my cat. <laughs> but <laughs> every single child in the world is smarter than my cat. <laughs> but the thing, the new. So when the Xbox. 360 came out. The one that had the new button, the oh, yeah, yeah. push button, yep. is like a boop. Yep. I never felt secure in my life ever again. <laughs> because like, you you know, you don't save because you're playing your game and then a cat comes over and boops its nose. That's all it needs to do is smell the little light or something. Yeah. And then it's off. That's uh, true. Everyone's talking about the sass. The sass is strong today. <laughs> look, hey, look, man, we're tired. Uh, we tired took, we took a long. bunch. We took a <laughs> bunch. Sardines. We took a bunch of days off. <laughs> came into the longer show with more cooking after and doing Xanax, <laughs> <laughs> and implemented a Wait, crap ton of new changes. <laughs> <laughs> implemented I all these changes at once. <laughs> Our brains are fried. Yeah, after we this. pulled an American Idol um, on this. We, did, I'm, I'm Brian Dunkelman in this situation. <laughs> oh man, oh, <laughs> this is that is such a deep reference. <laughs> Jesus. Also, the fact that you know his name is genius. Yeah, he's got like a thousand followers on Twitter. It's sad. Man. Have you seen the, his? Uh, he did a web series called like American Dunkelman, where it's about like it's an, it's an exaggerated like him falling off the face of the earth after that first. Uh, he first, did. He did. It's really funny. Um, Sarah, yes. you talked about, last time we were here, somebody asked you, would you put any of these uh, dishes on your website? Are you going to, would you, w would you take, would you, would you try any of these? Would you add it to your website? There's the squad says, from my appearance on squad says. You know, I would love to take the, essentially it turned out into a, into like a Mexican. Oh yeah, I want uh, to taste this actually, because I like and the crunch. Like, I think that would be really interesting to refine and make into something. Like, oh yeah, delicious. Like, you know, like I like I that, mean, that fusion so of nice, like right? Italian yeah. and Mexican. I think that's like when you fuse two different kinds of cuisine, that's always kind of interesting. So mm. it's co it's cold, but this is actually really delicious. Still, I mean, this is actually really neat.
like a pulled pork ravioli. Yeah, but, but, but it's yeah. got that. But it's also got that like that crispiness though. So yeah, you get like right. a slightly bit of a crunch. It's like God this weird. Bacon fat. So it's a teeny <laughs> empanada. Yeah, it's, you know, I was that's exactly say that's what it's a really small empanada. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, it's Sorry. it's the tapas. It's the it's the tapas empanada. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, thank you, Chitong. I'm still hungry. We're proud of you too. <laughs> we're proud of you. Chitong, we're proud of you. You're still hungry. There's still half of it here. Oh. There's peanut butter in it though. Uh oh. He really doesn't want it all for himself. How many sassy looks can I give today? So many, I know. There has been a lot of sass on this show. Yeah. It's hard to get a sassy face too, because my, my default expression is scared and lost. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that after the show. You're, you're, you're like Stitch, like I'm lost. Oh, it's so all right. Funny. All right, you know what? Chef Sarah, why don't you go hang this bad boy up there? I'm excited. Go hang, watch your step. Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah. Watch the beer. Watch the beer. Don't pull an no, Anna. No, I think we should all slip at least one. We're fine. Let's no. I'll take more beer and just all throw just them on the ground. There you go. Right up there. Muzzle pop. Exactly. She's uh, always sketchy down here. They've been waiting for you to try and slap someone. They've been waiting for you to snap and, and slap someone. Um, tell the folks at home where they can find you. Uh, on the internet, should they choose to look, uh, I will say our goodbye. Starting right over here to my immediate left with today's winner. Yes. What says serve? Yes. Yeah, so uh, my name is Sarah. You can find me at in lieu of cordon blue dot com uh, or in lieu of cordon blue on Instagram or Facebook or at Kesara Sarah on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I am Katie. Um, you can find me at kdowling6 Twitch. And then I think I just changed my name to kdowling, so on Twitch. And so you can find me there or like, you know, Will said last time, you know how to find me. They yeah. were, and we're going to put up a link to your GoFundMe for your metal <laughs> yeah. <expansion> right. on the <laughs> Just give me beer. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> give me beer. Um, I'm Kels. Uh, you can find me at, uh, at PKKAOS um, or at my, with, for my game, um, Calico at Calico Game um, or CalicoGame.com. And it's a game about magical girls uh, running cat cafes. That gif you posted with like it, when it's glitchy and she's riding the cat and it's like glitching over and over again and it got like a that thousand like retweets. First, yeah, that's that's the best tweet we've had and we're like, do we just need to mess up more? Which is is really the <laughs> it is really the trick. Um, my name's Angelina. I'm on Twitter as Hologram Dream. I do a lot of behind the scenes game dev stuff through my studio. We have about six people. We're in the downtown International District in Seattle. So I'm trying to give you guys a sneak peek of the game, screenshots, GIFs, just dev stuff. Um, so yeah, Hologram Dream on Twitter. And I also run the Exoto Games Twitter, which is just Exoto Games. Hey, I'm Trolley Ted. Or I was <laughs> Trolley Ted for today. And uh, you can follow me on Twitch at Ted's Friends and Twitter at Friends of Ted. And I am The Mike Robles. This is my last show of the year. Ted will be back on Tuesday night right here on this channel at 7 p.m. Uh, and then I will be back in 2019 on uh, Tuesday night uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, from there on out. Uh, I am The Mike Robles both on Twitter and on Twitch. Until then, have a wonderful, safe holidays and an even safer new year. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you in 2019. Bye. I love you. Mm -hmm.